Warning, warning. The next three hours requires an open mind. It's Sunday night. It's seven o'clock. And the human zoo is now open. Call 01243 556060. Skype play.radio.uk. Email studio at playradiouk.com. Conference on 0208 123 1088. Watch and listen at nttbs.com. But be warned, this is a live community dedicated to discussing topics and taboos in a frank and open manner. So, if you're easily offended by an open minded mass debate, then this show is not for you. And now, it's not the Tommy Boyd Show with Matt and Stu, only on Play 2 UK. Beware, boring calls will be buzzed off. Oh, sorry. Hello. 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 I like this song. Song? Well, <laughs> theme tune. Oh, I'll tell you what, you the you don't have your cans loud, you. Sorry, mate. Oh, man alive! <laughs> oh. Did I, have I deafened you? Yes! Sorry, mate. Uh, it's just gone seven. Welcome to the show. It's Sunday. It's not the Tommy Boyd show. And we're all here apart from Matt. Yes. Yeah, he's in Italy watching things go... Nyew. Did it rain? Nyew. It rained yesterday, yeah, didn't it? It, yeah. it rained really badly as well. <laughs> 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 a little ponty out of his ain't gonna keep him the no, dry no, that no. much. Do you think he's do you think he's all dressed up in his gay orange outfit again? Oh guaranteed. Do you think so? I hope so. He's got his little orange Vodafone flag yeah. in. Ooh, 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 hakey, hakey. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. Class. Uh it's the Not Tommy Boyd show with me, Joe, Aaron, Fiona and uh that's it, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> you, Joe, Aaron, Fiona and uh Oh yeah, yeah. that's it, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Isn't he? It, it, Matt, poor Matt, it's usually forgettable. Oh, bless him. No, no, no. We, you no. can't forget the orange. Come on now. Come no, on. you can't forget the orange. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's the usual three hours of uh, nonsense tonight. 01243 55 60 60 is the phone number you want to get through. We've got a few topics to throw out there and uh, what have you. Uh, Fiona's in charge of the Skype chat and emails tonight. Uh -huh. Studio at playradiouk.com or the Skype. Not Skype chat because I'll get into trouble for that, won't I? Oops. The Skype phone calls uh, at play.radio.uk or you can call us 0208123188. You can tell I haven't done this in a while, yeah. can't you? Hey? Oh, right. What, what, what is it again? 0208123188. And I guess that's it. Yeah. So we've got to start now. Wow. Joe's, Joe's back from Canada. I'm back from Canada. Oh. Hang on a minute. Before you go any further, Line two, good evening. Chapman is a legend! <laughs> <laughs> no, that wasn't Alan. No, it wasn't it was Alan. Alan missed out on first call of the night, holy that's, cow. That's now, that's when so was scary. the last time that happened? Beaten I by Eduardo. I can't believe it. Yeah. Yeah. And Eduardo said he wasn't going to call anymore. I know. Mm. You liar. <laughs> <laughs> liar. Fiend. So, Canada, Fiend. Joe. Canada. How was Canada? Canada's nuts. It's scary over there. They call their pound coins loonies, which is... Quite scary when you go to a shop. That's right. Uh, let me, <laughs> loonies. Yeah, that'll be a loony, please. Can I have three, three loonies. Yes. Yeah. Let, let, let me get this out for you. What's oh, what uh -oh. No, no, no. no. Put it away. Put it away. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. What's that this? That's a Canadian dollar coin, mm. which is a loony. It's not going to work in this country, though, is it? It's no. not. No. It's not even like it's, it's roughly the same size as ten pence, but it's not quite round, is it? So no. it's not really going to. I had no. This is how uneducated I am. I had no idea. That the Queen is on Canadian money. Oh, because she's in the Commonwealth, isn't it? I didn't. I. Do you know what I mean? It's wrong. <laughs> no idea. Yeah. I'm just so stupid at times. How uneducated is that, eh? It is. Shocking. A bit. You obviously didn't watch Do You Say. No, obviously not. Line one. <laughs> Good evening. <laughs> Hello, Stuart. Oh, Mr. Chapman. Hello. Chapman, DJ extraordinaire. Hello. Can I just say that I, I agree with what Eduardo just said? <laughs> <laughs> Funny that. Yeah, yeah. How you doing, mate? All right. Uh, I'm a bit upset, actually. I was getting some quite abusive messages on my phone. That's outrageous, oh, isn't it? It's terrible, I tell you. Yeah. I, I would report them. <laughs> I was just starting to say, should I report them? I would. I would phone yeah. up your, uh... I would phone up your, uh, your provider and, uh, yeah, report them, definitely. That's Have them terrible. blocked. Have them blocked. Yeah, I'd say, um, oh, I think your audience are nicely warmed up this evening. <laughs> I don't know why they've been nicely warmed up. I'm have just guessing, so. Chappers, have you been stroking them? <laughs> Mentally. How cool with is my, that? And with my voice. Chappers could be like Ted Robbins, couldn't he? He yeah. could be like the warm-up man. Yeah, Chappers the warm-up guy. How cool is that? Well, that's what we're calling from now on, Chappers the warm-up guy. Yeah, why not? Yeah? Why not? <laughs> How'd it go then, Chappers? 
I, I don't think I want to speak about it on your station. We, we might not be allowed to talk about it. We well, spoke about us on his. <laughs> yeah, did I? Yes, you I did. In How amongst, did you know that? In amongst the dead air. Oh, wow. Oh. Yeah, well, I just, I, just say, I just say totallychatters.com, goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Line two, good afternoon, evening, whatever. Welcome back, dear boy. Well, bloody hell. Alan was third caller tonight. Have you seen it? Alan, you are it's slow funny. off the mark tonight. You've been drinking. Okay, Mr. Oh. Evening, Alan. Welcome back, Joe. Thank you. How are you doing? Oh, uh, not bad. My, my laptop's playing up a bit tonight. That's why I'm a bit slow off the mark. Oh, right. Oh, forgive him. Like Alan? <laughs> Alan, have you got the webcams up? No, because I've had to wait for it to have a computer. All right. So, you forgot to say hello to Fiona. Hi, BB. Hello there. Sorry, I'm having, like I say, I'm having a bit of a kerfuffle with my laptop. Kerfuffle? Yeah. I kerfuffle. do like that word. Anyway, <laughs> I've had a request from Mr. Hollick. Yes? He said I've got to speak to you about coming down to the studio next week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, all right. Yeah. Alan, Alan, I've got a question for you. Go on, VV. How, how did it go? I went really well on the hospital radio. <laughs> I was on the air. Were Hello. you? Go on. Alan, Alan, can we have a can we can we get a podcast of the uh, of the Alan Caddick show? Well, I, I I don't think you can download it at the moment, but they are working on it. It's only a volunteer station, Stubal. Right, right. And did, so, so sorry, I missed what you said there. Remind me, uh, remind me, what did you do on there? Uh, I was co-presenting. You were co-presenting with who? A, a transsexual called Yvonne. <laughs> <laughs> what? Can I Does she know she's a transsexual? A transsexual. <laughs> Excellent. And did you have fun? Yes, I did. With I'm going back the next Friday. You're going what, sorry? I'm going back the next Friday. Oh, yeah? And I've got my own cans. Maybe you know about this. 40 Omega. Right. Oh. That's pretty good. Yeah, good. So you, so you enjoyed it then, did you? Yeah, some, I did. Which, which radio station is it on there? Uh, which hospital, hospital radio? Hospital Radio Pulse in Redditch. It's what? It's Hospital Radio what, sorry? Pulse in Redditch. Oh, Pulse. Pulse. If on the get... grounds of the Alexandra Hospital. It's on AM as well, isn't it? Uh, apparently, yeah. you can pick it up in the car park. Alan's, Alan's <laughs> on. Alan's on. Uh, Alan's on. on in, medium wave. Uh, Alan's on medium wave in Redditch. If you can find your way to the car park at the hospital. Good on you. Oh, cool. on you. Can I throw out a topic for tonight? Go on then. All right. Here's a topic for for those of you listening. Uh, I'd like you to call up or Skype in with jingles for Alan's show. Abs and then that's a fantastic. <laughs> Alan can pod. Looking for some jingles, actually, Alan. There that's you go. Fantastic. So what we'll do is tonight is we will have the Alan Caddick jingles. And any choice for any songs? Because I've got to go and marry Helen Barn tomorrow. And then you can podcast the show and you can trim them up and you can use them. Absolutely. Yeah. I've, I've got one for you. Apparently, Alan, your your show's on thirty fifty uh, thirty fifty at AM in uh, in uh, thirteen fifty kilohertz medium wave. That's right, yeah. And Hospital I'm at line channel one. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, just in case anybody in bed's listening right now, don't have a coronary, all right? Uh, <laughs> HospitalRadioPulse dot com as well. Thanks to John for that. Uh, cool. Yeah, that's cool, Alan. So tonight, what we'll do is the Alan Caddick Skype jingle. Uh, or oh, sorry, Skype jingle. Well, do phone in or Skype Jingle on them. Skype yeah. and... Well, yeah, oh, you know what I'm going anyway. Send any jingles for Alan's show. And we will have normal service tonight with the fantasy football at ten to eight. Brilliant. Ooh. All right, well, listen, we'll speak to you then, Alan, all right? OK, bye. Bye. Uh, on Skype, good evening. Oh, Canada, Songs of praise. <laughs> <laughs> is it with Alan Jones or who is it now that does songs of praise? I don't know. I never watched it. I think it was Alan Jones. Mm. It was for a bit, anyway. Well, well, fancy's my auntie. Yeah, thank you, Andrew. That's great. <laughs> does he? Oh yeah. Excellent. Okay, should we get? Should we start the ball rolling with that uh, jingle thing? You got anything for it? Oh, crikey! I got one for you. Go on. Then. Alan Caddick Hospital Radio is what your bedpan was made for. <laughs> <laughs> That's brilliant. I like that. <laughs> Line one. Good evening. Hello. Hello. You noticed something about Alan this evening. What's up? What's up with Alan tonight? 
Now he sounds since he's been on the radio himself. Yeah. <laughs> he sounds a lot more polished and a, a little less raucous, don't he? Yeah, he does a little bit, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah. You, you think he's been it by a wave of professionalism? Well, uh, <laughs> <laughs> a wave. I'd have said more like a tsunami. Well, I, I was considering I driving up the Ridge, I, but he hasn't told us what time he's on because I'd sit in a car park. And listen to him, I might stop on his way out and get his autograph and, like... Yeah, that's not a bad idea, yeah. I mean, Alan hasn't actually told us when he's on. We just know it's with a transsexual yeah. called... What was the name? Yvonne? Something like Sounds that, Sounds very yeah. interesting. Yeah. Stu, <laughs> Stu. Yeah, mate. What happened in about Newcastle United, eh? Oh, don't even... I was there oh. yesterday. I was outside the reception of the Grail with my protest sign, which is stuck in the back window of my I've car. Seen that. No more what Geordie cash for... What are you protesting about? Uh, what are you pro... Out in you, someone from Surrey... <laughs> about the, la the owner being from London. Because I was, uh, well, that much is true, but I am a born and bred Geordie according to my passport. What? Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. Two. Yeah, They're yeah. They've got the Geordie passport. Yeah. <laughs> I got one off a chick I was banging. <laughs> <laughs> from Newcastle. Well, no, I, uh, I, I was born up there. Actually? I was born up there. My granddad was part, used to uh, used to be on the old board of directors many many moons ago. And, of what? Uh, of, at Newcastle. Newcastle. No, Newcastle. No, we don't sound right. You sound like <laughs> one of them kids trying to do an American accent, uh, like, you know, when they think it's cool to be American. Uh, you mean like when Madonna comes over here and tries to do a bad British accent? What right? was that? No, Kylie Minogue. Oh, Kylie Minogue. You know Kylie Minogue was a, a little scrubber from, like, Australia, and now she come over here, and she's like, she's like, oh, posh, and like, yeah. uh, with that full, sort of, Chelsea accent, like, you know? Yeah. But, like, she, ultimately, she was banging someone who fucking hung themselves by strapping a leather strap around their head and, like, connecting it to the toilet and then checking off while taking drugs. That's getting, that's getting a bit much. You're getting a bit low there, really, aren't you? Mm. I don't care. No, I don't care. <laughs> Listen, the thing is, though, is well, if she... It's, if, it's never been... It's not like, it's, like news, is it? If she said, will you go to bed with me, you would, wouldn't you? Oh, Kylie? Yeah. Uh, she's a bit out of my uh, target age range now. I know, but she's under a size 12, though. What's that got to do with it? Well, well, like, I've, I've been told by someone calling in that anything over a size 12 is fat, you see. So I thought, oh, yeah, no, yeah. no, that's... that's No, because, like, you... Because what, what, what problem you got there is, you see, you've got... Like tall girls, mm. like that maybe a size fourteen, yeah, mm. but they ain't got no hips. Exactly. And then you've got like the ones that I don't like, like the ones that are about five foot. Mm. Like they got all like tummies hanging out everywhere and like <laughs> truck legs and all of that sort of thing. So like, they generally have nice faces, right, and nice <laughs> whack. But yeah. on the whole, you know, they take up too much space in the bed. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, that much is true. Is that, that much a single true. bed you've got then? What? Is that a single bed you've got then? No, I got like you know what they call like uh, King Dong size bed. <laughs> 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 nice. Uh, by the way, just for anybody that wants to drive to Redditch and park in the car park... When I get an erection, she gets pushed out of the bed. You know, that's what we're talking about. That's a bad yeah. sign, isn't it? Um, no, well, Alan apparently is on between 4 and 6 p.m. on a Friday. Wow. What? I said, Alan's on between four and six on a Friday, if you wanted oh. to drive to Redditch and listen to it. No, you know what, bad traffic then, for travelling at four o'clock on a Friday on the motorway. Yeah, I know, it's pretty, it's pretty good, cool. You know? so you, well, you, there you, goes my commitment. Have you, know? you got a, have you got an Alan Caddick jingle? No, don't be silly. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've got a new one. Go on, Alan's got another one, go on. Alan oh, Caddick, Alan... Uh, hang on, hang on. Go on. Alan Caddick on Hospital Radio, the new name for euthanasia. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> I reckon he'd like that. That's pretty good going there. Come on, man. What yeah, hospital is Alan in? Is he in like, uh, is it like a, a mental hospital or is it like a general hospital or is it like a teaching hospital or an establishment where they service sexual diseases? <laughs> the latter. <laughs> He's, he's doing it with Yvonne the transsexual, of course it's the latter. Oh, it might be one of them gender reassignment places. <laughs> the casualties full of popped bloke dolls. Yeah, I was going to say, it's actually, it's actually just a bicycle repair shop <laughs> that, that fixes punctures. <laughs> nice. Class. I don't know why do they have hospital radio? You know, what a stupid thing, hospital what? radio, isn't it? Well, it's, it's alright. No, I mean, hospital. really. I mean, you're in hospital, right? You've got to be ill to be in hospital, yeah? Yeah, but it's a captive yeah. audience, isn't it? <laughs> but you know, the last thing you want to do is listen to some twat wittering on <laughs> about, like, someone someone learning their trade, you know, while you're there with <laughs> tubes hanging out of your anus. And, like... <laughs> <laughs> like, what? 
Well, it's a stupid thing. I mean, they could, they could like, play bird song. Or, like, you could be, like, why would you listen anyway? You've got a portable DVD player now. <laughs> <laughs> If I, take, well, if I have to go to hospital, I take my laptop with me dongle. <laughs> right. You're allowed to do that, aren't you? I don't know. They say you're not allowed mobile phones, but every fucking fucker is off there talking on their phone. Like, on the golf course today, I couldn't believe it. I've got to say, actually, I was always wondered about that, is when you walk around hospital, the, uh, the, the doctors are all waffling into their mobile phones, but why have I got to turn mine off? Yeah, don't, just because they don't like noise. It's because they like, want you to use the hospital noise, phones. Yeah. yeah. It's true, because they cost a lot of money. Yeah, exactly. Right, I've got to go, because the, the accent's fading. All right, then. Take care. Have a good one. Oh one two four three fifty five sixty sixty. Stephen Hawking, good evening. Good evening. My name is Stephen Hawking, and whenever I visit Birmingham Hospital, I always listen to Alan Caddick. There you go. <laughs> and then, dirty boy. I missed the end bit. There you go. That was, uh, that's very good. Yeah, that was another Alan Caddick jingle. Oh, one, two, four, three, fifty, five, sixty, sixty. Maybe, uh, what was, was the, that a celebrity one on this jingle? Yeah, what was the name of, uh, what was the name of that guy that died a couple of weeks ago? The voiceover bloke. Oh. Uh, Fontaine or whatever his name is. Yeah. What, you think he should do one? Well, you could do something like, uh, you know, I, I can't, I can't think of anything. So what could I say? In a world, because he always yeah, says in yeah, the world. Yeah. In a hospital full of sick people, the only light, Alan Caddick, four till six Fridays. There you go. There you go. There you go. Trim that, Alan. There's another one for you. It should end with something like Hospital Radio Pulse. <laughs> yeah, something. Feel the pulse. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don when, Lafontaine. When, sorry. when the show's over, make sure you've still got a pulse. <laughs> <laughs> Alan Caddick's got a pulse. He wants you to feel. <laughs> <laughs> Line one. Good evening. <laughs> This is the surviving members of Hurricane Ike from Cuba. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, yes. Right, where were we? Holidays. Holidays. <laughs> yeah, Canada. Canada. Yeah, I saw a bear. Got something to show you as well. Have you? Yes. No, can I have a dollar back Ready? Yeah. NTTBS.com for the cameras, by the way. Click on the watch link. Shower price, three minutes, one dollar, loonies only. <laughs> that's cool. That's cool, I like that. That's, that's good. Did I get my dollar back, by the way? Yeah, so I put it down here for you. Did you? Yeah, oh, you just put it back in your pocket. It's uh, the only one we brought back, so, so yeah. don't lose it. I won't lose it. <laughs> we, uh, we, we have a bunch of things going on tonight. We've got, a, uh, we've got the Weedle wind-up of all Weedle wind-ups coming up at nine o'clock. Yeah. yeah. That is don't, don't don't big it up too much, Stu. No, come on. This it's this, all, it's this all one. Right. No, this do one. Big it up. <laughs> this one has been going on for several weeks. The build up to this one. This isn't just one call, is it? No, no. This has been a couple of calls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So for several weeks. Yeah. Uh, and in, and funnily enough, someone else has been getting the blame for it. Somebody else has been getting told off for Great. these calls. Yeah. yeah. Last call before the break. Hello. Turn your media player down. And hello. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, uh, it's Leslie. Now, why, Leslie? Can you hang on? I've just got to do an advert break. I'll be back in a minute. Yeah. Mm. Your See you tomorrow. Imagine what it's like waiting, just waiting, waiting with your life on hold, waiting for an organ transplant. This year, around a thousand people in the UK could die waiting simply because there aren't enough donors. More of us need to join the NHS Organ Donor Register, so please, don't wait. Join the register now. Call 0845 60 60 400 or visit uktransplant.org.uk The Business Brain Buster on Play 2 UK is the Internet's best general knowledge quiz. Staff from offices around the country pit their wits in a head-to-head -head battle hoping to be crowned Business Brain Buster of the Week. Register your business to take part. Email studio at playradiouk.com now. 
Then join Paul Anthony weekdays from midday UK time to hear it all live on air. The Business Brain Buster with Paul Anthony, only on Play 2 UK. This is not the Tommy Boyd Show with Stu and Matt on Play 2 UK. Beware, the contents of this show may offend. Oh, <laughs> the uh, Love it. Uh, thank you to uh, Caulfield7 who sent an email in. Uh, yes. Yes, <laughs> yes indeed. <laughs> which, is, which, is, which is rather <laughs> amusing to say the least. <laughs> Leslie, good evening. Hello there. How the hell are you, darling? Oh, I'm great, thank you. How's it going? Uh, it's not too bad. It's, you know, a little bit rusty because I haven't been here for three weeks, so it's, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's all a bit sort of newish again, you know? I know we've missed you. Have you? Yes, oh, well, of course we have. I, I haven't missed you that much, so I'm going to start on your green drinks. Let's put it that way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, get, as long as you're having your water, at least that's something. Hey, I'm on the Coke tonight, unfortunately, because I couldn't find... There was the, I went to the garage. Now, get this. You go right. to a garage, you were kind of expecting that the drinks chiller might actually have a drink in it, right? Yeah. No. No, no it had Coke, and that was it. No water, no Red Bull, no nothing. Mm. Rubbish, oh. isn't it? Got rough your Red Bull. I'm going to go nick one from in there in a minute. Cool. Hey, the lights are out in there as well, aren't they? Yeah. I, I, it's just it. very, very dark. They were out <laughs> everywhere. We've had was a bit the chiller of... full then, or was that what we've only left in it? No, it was full of coke. That was the only thing in it. It had a, it had, you know, you know when you go to a garage, it's a big chiller. Mm -hmm. It just had coke in it. That was all it was. Jesus. Mm. Ridiculous. It, was it a halfway stop sort of place in the middle of nowhere? Uh, yeah, you could say that, yeah. Yeah. So you're forced to buy the coke, aren't you? Yes, yeah, pretty much, yes. Uh, Gunpoint. Quick 20 a <laughs> bottle, is it? Something like that. <laughs> <laughs> you will buy the Coke. <laughs> yeah, you will, yes. Uh, yeah, something like that. Anyway, Leslie, what can we do for you this evening? Well, I'm very, very angry. Yes. Yeah. Oh because... Well, this introdu Well, let me just, before you start, introduce a nice topic for us. Because one of our topics tonight is, have you ever been that mad you've just wanted to go crazy? <laughs> oh, yeah. Go ahead, Leslie. That's how I feel. That's how I feel. See, isn't that great minds like, think alike there? Do you see that? <laughs> what happened? Go on, then. I feel so rejected. <gasps> I've spent enormous time and pride over my work. Yeah. Only for YouTube to email me <laughs> oh. and say, we have removed your Albino's video. <laughs> <laughs> Now, this is the one where you, this is the one where you took the Michael out of that guy in, uh, Big Brother, wasn't in it? Big Brother, yes. Do you know what? They've said, said that as if I've been racist towards him. He's an albino, he's not a race. <laughs> All I said was, what colour is his shit? <laughs> so, now, they're telling me you can't ask questions on the... What? You do what? You can't ask questions on there? Because that was the basis of my <laughs> video, if you remember it. What colour's an albino oh, shit? I see, sorry, I thought you meant you couldn't ask questions in a text on there, that was all. Oh, no, no. But the fact was, I didn't slag albinos off. I said what they were. I introduced some celebrity albinos. Yeah. <laughs> I, I said that minority <laughs> groups have won Big Brother before. And I said Darnell wouldn't win, because he's a big twat. I didn't say because he's an albino. Because <laughs> he's a big twat. <laughs> so, but is it a coincidence that YouTube have removed this video when Darnell's come out of the house? Has he watched it? Do you think, do you think Channel 4 have got something to do with that? Oh, they could do, yeah. Maybe, maybe it's because they know that one of your associates has something to do with neighbours on Channel 5. <laughs> yeah. And they're not happy about it. Free mental media, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which of us don't know does this fucking voice, innit? <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but on the subject of Darnell, what was the attraction with him? I don't even know. I've got to say, I don't even know who he is because I didn't watch Big Brother at no, all. So. Me too. Do you mean as, a, as somebody who's good looking or somebody who's a, a good housemate? Well, <laughs> no, as good looking because all the girls were after him, weren't they? Were they? Yeah, they not were. Good looking, though. He looks like Ted Danson in a white wig. <laughs> 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 he does, right? He but and I was surprised when I found out he was black. Were you? He's yeah. a black albino, yes. Yeah. He is, yeah. He's a black guy. That's right, yeah. Is he? Yeah. Yes, yes, he's black. He's got white he, afro hair. He's the palest black guy you've ever seen. Except <laughs> for Michael Jackson. <laughs> no, I think he may be paler than Michael Jackson. Really? Yes. Wow. But, Very much so, yeah. But Michael Jackson is black under his nails. But he's got really bad face acne as well, so he has to put this white powder on for it. <laughs> it can't get any worse for him, can it? Bless him. 
but it, oh, that's pretty. you know, I mean, uh, nothing to do with the albino. Um, but he, I just couldn't see what the appeal was anyway with him. Hmm. He did, couldn't walk properly. Can I, uh, let me just bring, <laughs> let me see, hang on a minute, because I've never seen this guy, so let me just bring up Google. He did walk as though his, his arms were the heaviest thing you've ever seen. <laughs> He? he couldn't. He couldn't walk properly at all. How do you spell Darnell? Double L. Um, As it ooh, sounds. I'm not sure. B A R N E L. Well, it's really not oh, any of those. Yeah. <laughs> first, first no, one, neither well, of those guys. No, walk, <laughs> clearly yeah. not. He was lying that walk. Hold on. Do you want me to find it? Yeah, and please. Don't want to show. Sorry. No, go on. I was talking to Fiona. Sorry, Leslie. Go ahead. All right. I was going to say it's like that walk when somebody's been bullied at school by a gang and yeah. he's walking off, but he doesn't want to show that it's getting there you go. to him. Like he's, like he's sulking. Oh, there yeah, he is. Yeah, he's knuckle-dragging on the floor. Oh, God, yeah, I was just... Look at that. Darn... Oh, what a... Darnell sw Swallow. What, a, what an unfortunate name. Darnell Swallows. Oh, uh, Swallow. God. It, it, it has to be why what he's swallowed. Who does he look like? He looks, he looks like... Ted Danson. He does look like Ted Danson, you're mm. right, yeah. Yeah, if, yeah. He had, if he had that Ted Danson haircut, he could pass for him, couldn't he? He just, yeah, he's got that squint in his eyes, though. Yeah, but I think, um, I don't think he's got great eyesight, because I think that comes with being an albino as well. I think that's yeah. quite, um... Pink yeah, eye. Pink yeah. eye. Yeah. But, yes, yeah, so, but that's why I'm angry, because I didn't slag off albinos, I slagged off him. But uh, not because he was an albino. So who would you, uh, who would you like to hit for it? Who would I like to hit? Yeah. Um... <laughs> I'd like to beat myself up so I could get in that hospital and listen to Alan's webcast. <laughs> <laughs> How cool would that be, eh? Oh, God. You know, I'd be on that ward going, I know him. I know him. <laughs> <laughs> no, you seriously, you wouldn't. You wouldn't want to kill your reputation by saying, actually, I know that guy on the radio. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can understand what he says then. Just a bit. Yeah, well, that'd be it. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Leslie, thank you very much indeed for your call. Thank you very much. Talk to you soon. Bye. 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 Let's try this one. Line two. Good evening. It's the goons, isn't it? Is it? The goons. Yes. Right, well, I couldn't understand it, so... It was Spike Milligan and the rest. <laughs> it was a good try, but thank you very much indeed. 01243-5560. Um... We were talking just before the break about what we we're going to do today, didn't we? So, uh, <laughs> yeah. we were going to do the uh, so the, the Weedle wind up at nine. Uh, we've got a we've got a game show marathon coming up. Well, it's not so much a marathon, just a, a game show. Okay. Uh, at half past eight, which people call in for. There's a, there's a big prize to give away on that as well. Ooh. So, uh, <laughs> so we'll uh, we'll do that it's about like half past hard eight. Again. We've got a bit of uh, <laughs> a with, mug. with the return of Joe. We have a little bit of unsigned music at around about eight o'clock. Yes, and I mean a little bit. <clears throat> Just one. Of course, if you're listening on the podcast, these times mean nothing at all yeah. to you. Um, fast forward. Yeah, fast forward 30 minutes from now if you want to listen to the music. Fast forward an hour and 30 minutes from now if you want to listen to the Beatles wind up. And fast forward one hour if you want to hear the game. Excellent. Or just stick with it and just listen throughout. But then you might have to listen to Aaron for the next hour. So yeah. <gasps> Sorry about that. <laughs> Cheeky son. <laughs> uh, topics tonight are... What makes you angry, you said? What makes you angry? Yeah. Alan Cadwick jingles. If you've got it, if you've got a phone up, and you can, uh, we'll switch all the mics off, and you can do a, a jingle for Alan Cadwick's radio show. That'd be quite cool. Hmm. Have you? Have you been? I've been sat here thinking about some more. <laughs> have you got any more? I haven't got any ready, but leave them with me. I'll, all right. I'll come all right. Oh one two four three fifty five sixty sixty or studio at playradiouk dot com. Um, <clears throat> I'm quite. I do quite. I'm not sure whether I'm going to read that email out or not. Mm. Do you think I should give the game away? Mm. No, leave it. No, no? leave it. Yeah, okay. I agree. It's good. All right. It's good. I can't, I can't like that. Anyway, so Alan's going to come down next week, apparently. Is he? Yeah. Arranged by Matt, is Arrange, it? Arranged by Matt, apparently. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah? Cool. I want to throw something out there. Yeah, go for it. I had to um, take a diversion this evening on my way in, mm -hmm. and um, going along my unusual route, um, I went past this building with this huge sign advertising the building, um, rather took me by surprise <laughs> because this place was a nursing home right, right. and it's called The Hearse <laughs> what? <laughs> honestly yeah, that's great nursing home called The, the Hearse, Hearse. <laughs> and you know when you do that kind of you sort of register something and then you sort of do that whole double take thing yeah, what? yeah, yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the hell 
That's quite, that's quite funny, I like that. There's a builder's merchant near me called Beaver. Nice. <laughs> Nice. Isn't that great? So, so we're looking for inappropriate... Well, inappropriate. It's actually, it's not even business beaver, it's beaver tools. That's right. Well, no, it just says beaver on the sign <laughs> outside. Yeah, I was like, I was like, hey, I'm going to stop in. I hope it doesn't cost much. <laughs> well, they're rentable as well. <laughs> so inappropriate company names. Yes. 01243556060 or studio at playradiouk.com. Line one, good evening. Can I call on an air production meeting with you, Stu? Well, if you must. Have you forgot something important when you're doing the trial? Oh, go on then. What, what, have we, what do we have to get in on the trail, Alan? The fantasy football at ten to eight. Oh, oh, you mean the? the, 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 the oh. <coughs> I thought you meant the trail, as in the trails oh. for your show. No, I'm not oh. mean with this show, Stu. Oh, are you okay with some of these jingles, Alan? If you snip them up, is that all right? Well, uh, let me listen to it when I get the podcast. Right. Well, have you right. not been listening then? No, I've been having to wake up a computer and all that, you know, I've missed most of it. Oh, Alan, can I just say to Alan, Alan really needs to get a virus scanner installed in his machine. I, have, I do have a virus scanner, it's, it's a crap AVG one. Because every time, every time Alan logs on and logs off uh, MSN Messenger, I get this... <laughs> I, get, I, get, I get this, I get this... <laughs> shut up a minute. I get, this, uh, I get this thing pop up on my screen at some dodgy dating website and it goes, join here for free every time Alan logs on and logs well, off. <laughs> Oh, oh, Spybot, search and destroy. That's what you need. Spybot, mate. There oh, you go. Oh, it's good, that, yeah. No, you have to pay money for Spybot. No, you, no, you don't. Free. You just donate it if you feel like it. <laughs> and I've uh, been a nice person, I have. Because it's saved me from quite a few viruses. Do you want, Alan? Chappers has been bugging like that more calls than your show. Uh, well, uh, well, Chappers has. Yeah. Yeah, but they were all from Chappers with stupid voices. Oh, ah, yeah. that got you, didn't it, Alan? <laughs> Cheers, mate. <laughs> Bless him. Ah, oh, poor guy. <sighs> so, all right then, the fantasy football update in mm -hmm. 15 minutes if you want to fast forward on the podcast. 15. I wonder if I'm winning. Do you think I'm winning? I haven't looked this mm. week, actually. I, I, haven't, I haven't looked at all. I didn't do I've any forgotten my details. Just, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't a clue. I don't know. I can't change it was, any of my players. It was winning, it was, what happened last week? Because it was in England on last week and I didn't hear the show last it, week. It didn't change. So, uh, Alan came on and said, I've, I've had an idea, guys. Uh, it'd be pointless for me to do it. You know, because nothing's changed from last week. So we said, good idea, Alan, nice thinking, and just hung up. Right, okay. That's a good way to deal with it, yep. isn't it? Yep. Uh, inappropriate company names. Uh, uh, it can be fictional. Yes. Have you ever wanted to kill someone, or not kill someone? Have, have anybody made you ever so mad that you wanted to uh, go crazy on them? Mm. I wanted to punch out somebody at the uh, train station this evening. Yeah? Yes, because when I got to the train station, I'd get on the train and get here, I found out that the trains had all been cancelled and been replaced by buses. Nice. And they wouldn't let me get my bike on the bus. Yeah. Nice. So I had to cycle the whole way here. Nice. And nice. which is why I got here rather moist and sweaty and smelly. That's divorce am I, am, I, am I weird, by the way? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> I used to get, when I get on the train, right, every morning, because I don't, I don't Monday to Friday, right? Right. <clears throat> and I get on the train, and I, I used to have a seat which was mine, right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, yeah. it was the seat I sat in every single day, right? Mm -hmm. right. And now someone else has decided they get on one stop mm -hmm. before me, and now it's their seat. Swine! Oh. Oh. You get on at the same time <clears throat> on the stop before. Am I, am I really weird for every time I get on the train, every morning, I look at the guy and think, you bastard. Mm -hmm. No, I do no, the same. That's not weird. Is that not weird? It's 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 not just, it's oh. I do the same. I get the train every day as well, and I always get on. And always sit in the same seat. Yeah. It, it might not be the same carriage. Could we be a completely different carriage? Yeah. Okay. Oh no, mine. No, well, I have. Always the same location. Always the that particular seat by the door. Yeah. Mm. See, mine is uh, on 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 Southwest. There's <laughs> one single on its own seat, which is where the disabled area is. Oh, by the toilet. And by the toilet. But the toilet's not so bad. I can deal with that because I don't have that much of a sense of smell anyway, so it doesn't really make a difference. But it's not right next to the toilet. It's a little bit oh, into oh, the carriage. It's the other one. Mm, but it's one single seat on its own. And you sort of like to and the I like left that. Is the two well, I like that because I get my laptop out and I've got one of these 17 inch laptops. It sits like this across your lap. I mean, Flashy it's, you know, it's, like, it's like that across your lap. Show off. And of course, then if someone comes and sits next to you, you kind of have to shuffle around and have it at an angle so you so, can have it in your lap. So that they can't see that you're looking at porn. No, I don't look at porn. All right. No, I watch. I watch films that my Uncle Don has given me, so it's maybe not quite for general consumption, given the fact that a certain rather large satellite broadcasting company is on the route that I take into work. I see. But it's territorial as well, isn't it? We like to think that we own that little bit of space. Yeah, it's my space, and I get bloody annoyed when he comes along and he sits in it. This dead bloody... In fact, it's been great. He's been on holiday for three weeks. <laughs> but this week, he's back! Come on, oh. you bastard! <laughs> Night one, good evening. Sure. Yes. You pay for the service, not the seat. 
Oh, if, well, if that's what I'm paying for. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> Thank you. Who's that? It's Barry. Oh, hello, mate. Sorry. Oh, you all right? Now, hang on a minute. Now this is now this is my mate Barry, right? Yeah. Barry is a Southwest Trains driver, so if you have a problem, <laughs> uh, uh, Barry, why are the trains cancelled? <laughs> They're never cancelled. They're just running on time all the time. You know that guy. No, <laughs> the bloody buses have been put on instead of trains. No, what you've got to remember is is that the the, the the autumn timetable comes into effect in a couple of weeks' time. Right. That's where they add an extra four minutes to all the trains because of the leaves on the line. Oh, those dangerous leaves. Now, the fact that my my train goes up to Camberley and stops at bloody Camberley for three and a half minutes. Said, so why not just not stop there for three minutes and carry on up? We could all get there on time. Yeah. We need extra time to get our coffee, though. Don't that's we, really? exactly what it is. You need a little bit of time to warm up, don't you, mate? Yeah, that's it, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In, in the front of the train there, do you get to see the screens from all the cameras in the carriages? No. No? That's no, not... there is one that you get to see all the screens the guard does, but no, not from the driving cab. So I've always been wondering whether or not anyone's been caught, you see, on the train. Yes, they have. Yeah? <laughs> <Excellent>. <laughs> as simple as that, yes, they have Excellent. been caught. <laughs> By me. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Very nice. Uh, well, so Seeing as, seeing, as that you, seeing as you're with my sister, I won't ask you any more in-depth conversations no, about that. No, that's it. it. We'll, we'll leave it there, mate. Cheers, mate. I'll talk to you Good soon. Good day, later. Take it later. Bye-bye. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> a friend of mine actually said he was on the on the train going home one night with his girlfriend, and they were getting a bit intimate, shall we say. Yes. And uh, a voice came over the time, uh, may I remind all passengers that each carriage is fitted with a camera. <laughs> 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 oh, shit. <laughs> Booger. Yeah. Damn mm. it. Uh, it's uh, not the Tommy Boyd Show. It's me, it's Joe, it's Fiona, and it's Aaron. Uh, yeah. 01243 5566 is the number. I should say that a bit slower, shouldn't I? Oh one two four three fifty five sixty sixty, uh, and oh. studio at playradiouk.com on the email. Skype number. Oh one oh two oh eight one two three ten eighty eight. The other week I was giving away my work number, wasn't I? <laughs> you were. That. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, and uh, we will be back right after this. <laughs> Go to PlayRadioUK.com now and play Blackjack for real money and get a $200 bonus when you sign up. Just click on the 888.com banner on our website now at PlayRadioUK.com. Websites don't always work to their full potential. In fact, they can seem like a mystic art. Wouldn't it be great if you had someone on hand to wave a magic wand that would optimize, improve, and increase traffic to your website? Fear no more. The Web Wizard is here dispensing web wisdom and free tips. Email your question to Jason Rodland, the Play 2 Web Wizard, wizard at playradiouk.com. Then listen at 2.30pm on the last Thursday of every month. The Web Wizard on Play 2 with Argo Internet Business Consultants. Growing your ideas. Click argo.uk.com. Play Radio UK have teamed up with Virgin Wines to offer you a massive 20% discount off your favourite wines. Visit playradiouk.com and click on the Virgin Wines 20% discount voucher to start saving now and have your favourite wines delivered to your door. Play Radio UK and Virgin Wines, for people who love their wine and a great deal. Just log on to playradiouk.com and click on the Virgin Wine 20% discount voucher and start saving today. It's not the Tommy Boyd Show with Matt and Stu, only on Play 2 UK. Beware, the contents of this show may offend. Are you back now? Sorry, yes. Yes. Sorry. Did you go, did you go have a little whittle? I had to wash my hands. Oh, the lights are back on. They are. I just turned them on. Oh. oh. <laughs> That's like magic or something. <laughs> it's called a light switch. I didn't, I didn't fancy going in and peeing on my shoes again. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, oh one two four three fifty five sixty sixty studio at Play Radio UK. What's made you so mad you've wanted to go crazy? Inappropriate company names. Or Alan Caddick Jingles. Alan Caddick Jingles. If you've got a jingle for Alan Caddick's radio show on Hospital Radio Pulse, 1350 AM in the Redditch area, then uh, Friday's four till six. I'm going to get into so much trouble for telling everybody that, you know. <laughs> really? Oh, like, you're not going to believe. Yeah? I better get a phone call tomorrow about it. We'll see. Should we put a fiver on it? Uh, yeah, but you'll, you'll, <laughs> you'll, you'll make sure he doesn't call, won't you? <laughs> <clears throat> anyway, it's, uh, 
40 minutes into the show, and we were talking about Joe's Canada trip at some point in time. Well, we started, but, yeah. But you're going to have to hold on again. Line one, <laughs> good evening. Line one. I can understand nothing of that. If you're going to call in, at least make sure that your volume's a little bit lower than the, the normal. That, Thank you. the Alan Paddock podcast? Oh, <laughs> it, it could have been, but I couldn't, uh, I couldn't get in at all. Fair enough. Okay. Yes. So, we've got, yeah, we've got this, uh, Canada trip. Joe? How'd it yes. go? I went all extreme because I was insured for all these things, so I thought, oh, I'll give it a go. So I did some downhilling, downhill mountain biking, <laughs> which I thought, going out for a bit of a cycle, yeah. maybe over a bump through a puddle. Yeah. <gasps> Oh God, no! <laughs> it was like that. Yeah. I screamed all the way down. I had cramp in both hands, <laughs> and <laughs> I was in tears by the bottom, just going, oh, "I can't do it." And uh, Jason was at the bottom, just going, oh, "What? What? Wasn't that great fun? Can we do it again?" Like, oh. So I tried again, and I actually fell off. And I think I fell off at the slowest pace anyone has ever fallen off a bike before. <laughs> it was so slow that I was embarrassed. And I kind of was glad I had a bruise because otherwise it was just I just I went like this and just sort of went. <laughs> 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 and that at that speed and you you know that is there's nothing you can do. No, Fair so enough. I'm going now and I landed in a bush. <laughs> it's completely unhurt. What was this about a bear? A bear, yeah. I went canoeing, which is less extreme. Um, and as we were putting the canoe in, the lady who was hiring it to us said, oh, don't slip on that bear sick. And we said, bear sick? Does that mean there's bears around here? <laughs> oh, no, no, but I haven't seen a bear here for years. And we're thinking, yeah, but by the evidence of the vomit of the bear, possibly a, a bear? <laughs> but, nah, never mind, we're in the river. <laughs> so about half an hour in, going, there's a thing in the water. <laughs> I think it's a bear. And I've got like I've got video footage of Jason turning around going, I think it's a bear. Oh, Whispering yeah. like that's going to help. And we're paddling backwards at one point, thinking, how how do we get round this? Because if it swims up and eats us, that'd be quite scary. <laughs> Luckily, the bear had more maturity than us and just sort of swam to the side. And we paddled by really fast on the other side of the river. And it just watched us, oh, probably no. thinking. God, Humans. Well, I said, <laughs> it might have had a pop at you, but it was feeling ill. It was huge. <laughs> it was it? absolutely. Oh god! I've got video footage of a small head just sort of floating along. Oh, so no. it, it, you can't even see the, mm. the how scary this actually was. So we you know, feel a bit pathetic now. Mm. But uh, yeah, and I was going to go paragliding, but it was too windy by the time we got to the top. What? Yes, too apparently you you can, it can wind. be too windy. Well, I thought, but no, apparently not. They drove us all the way up there, which was really scary. And I didn't want to. I wanted to jump off again. <laughs> but uh, they made us drive back down. Right. I didn't see any sharks. I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> it was the bear in the water. Oh, yeah. Just when you thought it was safe to go canoeing. <laughs> Bungle from Rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently it was a black bear. A black bear? Yeah. <clears throat> nice one. What, was mm. it wearing like gold chains and a baseball cap? Yeah. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> oh, it was it was really big. I was quite scared, I have to say. I freak mm. out if a cow looks at me the wrong way if I'm walking across the field. <laughs> <Put to the winko. laughs> How did the tour go then? Did you do any gigs? No, I did no gigs at all. I just looked after my niece. Really? My I baby thought... niece and taught her loads of words. I thought you were going out there to possibly do a couple of gigs. I thought about it and then yeah. thought, nah. I can't, can't, be bothered. can't be bothered. Yeah. Um, so we, we went sightseeing and stuff. So I've got loads of pictures if you want to look at my Flickr account, which is Neosum. You can go and have a look at my lovely pictures. Neosum. N-E-O-S-O-M-E. -E -E. Yeah. Cool. In there. Um, That'd be good. Yes, there's only a few. I'm not going to bore you with loads of them, but there's some nice ones, I thought. And you were there for three weeks, weren't you? I was. How blissful. I'm going to Dubai. And I went to Aberdeen. <laughs> Very drunk, you were going to Dubai. Only Just for four hot. days. How nice How long does it take you to get to Dubai? Seven hours. Right, four days, that's quite hard going, isn't it? Uh, it's not too bad, really, I suppose. If you think, it's, uh, it's only the same as going to New York, and people do that every, you know, for a mm. day and back sometimes. So. Do you, can <coughs> you get jet lag going to Dubai? Well, hopefully not with the flights I've got. Right. Because I land there at like six o'clock in the evening, which they're three hours ahead. Uh, so it'll be nine o'clock at night. By the time I get to the hotel, it'll be time to go to bed and sleep, get mm -hmm. up the next morning, and then the way back is, uh, yeah, I get here at 20 to seven in the evening, so on a Sunday, right. which would be great. Because that means mm. I can go straight, straight to bed when I go home. Wow. Three hours oh, isn't so. too bad. No, it's all right, isn't it? So, anyway, 
Nice. So that randomly brings us on to another one of our topics. This is good. It's all fitting in quite well. This should be it's, it's good. This, it's, you know, this is re- this is all going to fall it? apart. Uh, yeah, well, yeah. Day by day the time it gets to eight o'clock, forget about it. Uh, so, uh, is uh, have you ever wanted to emigrate, and where would you emigrate to? <laughs> quite often. Yeah, every week. Believe me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So every weekend. Where would, where, <laughs> where, where would you like to emigrate to? Well, actually, I could annoy you slightly and say France. No boo. <laughs> I love France. Yeah. I do. Yeah. The only trouble is, is the weather. I, think I thought you were going to say the people. The only trouble is, it's a French. Yes. <laughs> no, I would love to move to France. It's you think just it's just a more relaxed of... lifestyle there, then? Everything is just... Oh, no, I don't mean everything is better. But they just have... Everywhere's clean and... Right. You know, the motorways, there's like nothing on the roads. Yeah. And it just, it's just so... They've just got everything... Sussed, I think. You know, even stuff like the recycling. Yeah. You know, because my yeah. sister's got a house yeah. over there, and we stayed at the, we stayed at the house, um, and the bin men take everything. You know, oh, it's not this thing about oh, what do can we put out for recycling and what can't we? You just they take everything, and they take all your garden rubbish. They give you special bags, and they have a garden rubbish collection day. You know, it's just. See, I can't be doing that. Garden we've got rubbish. that here, although we're going <coughs> to pay for it. Yeah, no, we, we, we don't. We'd have to pay for ours. You just have to go out and buy the special bags to put it in. Jammy sod. Yeah, we got to pay for ours. Yeah, well, we you get, you get a special brown wheelie bin. Ooh, mm. nice. Yeah, for your garden that'll stuff. Look, that'll We've look got good nice neighbours. We can borrow their brand new bin because we're so rubbish at gardening. <laughs> we'll never use it every year anyway. <laughs> <laughs> We've nice. got a couple of leaves. That's so you can't true. see our garden anymore. Have you? So where would you, have you ever decided thought about emigrating anywhere? I have. I've even applied for all of the above: Canada, <gasps> New Zealand, and Australia, and but I've been accepted for all three. Really? And then I looked. Now, having been to Canada, I don't want to move there. Right. It's very nice, but it's just not. You've been to New Zealand. I've never been to New Zealand or Love Australia. New Zealand. I've got pals in, New Ze- uh, pals in Australia well, that I might l- like to go visit. We, we, yeah. we, we muted, I mean, we didn't do anything about it, but we muted the idea of, uh, of New Zealand a few mm. years ago, the wife and I, because it's such a beautiful country. Really? Mm. It's gorgeous. Beautiful. Yeah. yeah. I want to pick your brains about, um, about why you wouldn't move to Canada, but we'll do that mm. after we spoke to Fat Steve. Fat Steve. Hello, hey, hey yeah, I'm watching on the webcam. I see Aaron's gone blonde. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a it's a thing he has, Steve. It's grown some I heard hair. he has a thing. Yeah, yeah, it's not <laughs> a big thing, but it's there. So we heard. <laughs> so uh, it's, it's a black bear. Joe? Yeah, yeah, black bear. Yeah, they're they're actually vegetarians. Are they? Oh well, damn. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I had a when I lived in Woodstock, New York, I had a bear at my front door, and my parents. Had a couple of bears on their farm in Vermont. Mm-hmm. They just went out and took pictures of it. <laughs> Steve, Steve, where's the bottle of wine tonight and the cap and the sunglasses and everything like that, mate? Oh, I'm I'm actually on a diet. I haven't drank um, all week, and well um, I got the low lighting on, so I don't need these sunglasses. We've got plenty of diet soda here, though, if you um, notice. Yeah, well, you see, they see that's not good for the that's not good for the diet, though, mate. You need to cut out the soda stuff. Well, you know, you y- you say that, but you know, it's better than a pizza. Well, that much is true. Talk to Leslie; he'll give you the green drink recipe. <laughs> yeah, I, I would imagine what his green drink <laughs> comes from. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Uh, how's your week been, anyway, mate? All right. Good, good. Um, we're going to be emigrating. Um, oh, are you? In uh, in January of 2010, we're definitely moving to Amsterdam. You go. You, you got, oh, you've, wow. got a, you've already got a place over there, haven't you? Yes, but we have to rent it out in order to pay the mortgage, sure. so we can't even like visit it. Right? Oh, that's that's a bit. That's going to be the worst thing. Are you going to set up it? a new band then? Sorry, are you going to set up a new band? Um. Well, it depends on you know if we have like a number one hit between <laughs> now and then. <laughs> moving um, moving to Amsterdam has got nothing to do with that. Is it David Peel track? Oh, the the, the I like marijuana yeah. track. Yeah, <laughs> nothing to do with that, is it at all? Uh, oh no, I hate no, it. No, yeah, yeah, no, I don't like. It. Yeah, yeah, I love it. <laughs> Why Amsterdam then? Why Amsterdam? No, well, we've been visiting there for the last um, ten years. Then we decided to buy a place there. Why? What's uh, the appe- what's the appeal there? Apart from uh, the obvious. Apart from the obvious, it's just um, well, it's a quaint little European city that's um, so different than what we have here in America. Mm. Right. Nice. I mean, okay, fair enough. You know, even just the fact that we were able to travel to all the other European cities from there 
yeah. is just amazing to us because, you know, we've lived in America for 39 years of our life. But Atlanta's a, isn't Atlanta a United hub? You can go anywhere you like from Atlanta, right? It's a Delta hub. It's Delta hub. And, yeah. Oh, it's the worst airport in the world. <laughs> I know. <laughs> You've got to take a train from the check-in to the terminal. <laughs> really? Or from, from like, where you check your bags to the gate, you have to take a little subway-type train. Oh, you have to do that at uh, Gatwick as well, don't you, for most... If you're going from the north terminal, mm. don't you? You check in at the south but and go north. What's right? worse about uh, the Atlanta one is when you fly in from Gatwick, you have to go through the um, immigration... Bit to Bob was with your passport and what you're doing here and have you got any drugs and are you a communist stuff? Yeah, yeah. But they don't put any toilet between the plane <laughs> and uh -huh. the queue. Uh -huh. And they also sometimes take a bit of time landing when you're not allowed to go to the toilet on the plane. So you imagine me a few years ago crippled and in tears by the time I got to the place where they said, What are you doing in this country? <laughs> Dying for a piss was my answer. <laughs> the, last, the, last time we went to, the last time we went to New Zealand, my wife, uh, my wife decided that we'd been sat on the tarmac for ages and they strapped you in and they back away from the mm. gate and you sat down. Mm. And we sat there for ages and she said, Oh God, I need the toilet. <laughs> and I said, I said, you can't go now. I said, well, you, know, you know, you know, we're upstairs, we're in business class. It was only like ten seats or something like. That. And I said, you can't go now because we're about to take, or we're going to start taxiing in a minute. You know, no. <laughs> she goes, oh. so she sat there five minutes later. She goes, I've got to go. To the <laughs> so she gets up, she gets up out of her chair, and this guy, one of the stewards, is at the back in the little galley bit, and he says, uh, sorry, love, you'll have to sit down. She goes, no, no, I really, really need to go to the toilet. So she went to the toilet. <clears throat> Meanwhile, we start taxiing, right? <laughs> 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 so we're ta so we're taxing along the runway, and I'm thinking she's not back yet. <laughs> and you know, and you know when you're on a plane for those who oh, for, for those who haven't for those of you who haven't flown, what happens is is just before when, when you're in a queue waiting to get onto the runway, nothing happens, and then you hear the seatbelt sign going ding mm. ding, and that means we're about to go, right? Mm. Mm. So it goes ding ding, <laughs> and my wife is still in the toilet. And I'm thinking this is not going to be good, is it? <laughs> we we are literally just accelerating down the runway when she comes out of the toilet, right? It, she said it was like climbing Everest, trying to, <laughs> oh, trying, yeah. to, trying to climb four seats up when the plane's at full thrust rattling down the runway and she's still walking about the I'm surprised they let her, though. Well, they, they thought she was going to be ill, you see, so they let her go to the toilet because they thought she was going to be sick. And uh, and because we only found out that's what they thought because when when they got right. up after the uh, seatbelt signs went off they brought her blankets around and some like oh. you know paracetamol and stuff thinking <laughs> she was going to be really <laughs> ill. Some Kendall mink cake. And, and all she wanted to go was for a pee. Like, you know what I mean? But, that's it, was, oh, but God, it was so funny. Don't she don't said it was pee. like climbing Everest, pulling away out there. <laughs> right, right. That's great. Isn't it? Doesn't it piss you off when people break the rules on the plane or like yes. they don't follow do you, shit? Do you know what? Oh. Do you know what pisses angry. me off is, is when is when uh, when you land right. The, the most annoying thing is the people that can't wait to get into the terminal before they turn their bloody telephones on. Mm. Why is it so important that you've got to have that text message or that answer phone message or call someone mm. while you're still on the plane? Even before that. Well, yeah. well I'll, I'll actually defend that because as we just described, it takes like 30 minutes to get from the gate to the terminal <laughs> sure. in, in Atlanta. But so my wife calls me once the thing has landed and that's when I leave the house. Ah, right, okay. I can understand that, I suppose, then. Yeah, that's okay. But the other one is people who can't stay in their seats while you're still taxiing along. Mm. I always, you yeah. know when it's coming up to the gate and it's inching forwards? Mm. I always want the guy, in fact, I, I saw it once, I was on a flight once and all these people thought we were at the gate and they all got up, even though the seatbelt sign was still on, and it crawled forward a little further and then the captain slammed on the brakes and this, yes. uh, this ton of people just went <laughs> flying forward into this big heap yes. against the bulkhead. I laughed so hard I couldn't help it. There was like ten people all sprawled all over the floor and everything. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that'll bloody teach you. <laughs> I also hate the people who recline yeah. when the second they get in the plane. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. God. Oh, once yeah. we were going to Amsterdam, the guy in front of me just reclines as we're taxiing. Yeah. I start punching <laughs> yeah. the chair in front of me, and he wasn't, t I was hoping he'd turn around and say, like, what are you doing, you know? And, <laughs> but, you know, he was, I, like, I guess he was smaller than me, so he must have thought, you know, this guy's... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is annoying. That really is, isn't it? Yeah. So. It's like when you're in the departure lounge and they suddenly announce that you're going to start boarding your plane, and there's just a oh. fight to get on the aeroplane. You think, well, the plane's not going to take off until we're all on, and we've all got 
pre-allocated seats. The ones who haven't got the pre-allocated seats, or are they? No, no, no. It's everybody. It's everybody. So, so for instance, when uh, where did I go recently? Uh, oh, went to Boston. Boston. Mm. Okay, yeah. so I went to Boston for the for the, for a few days. Gets to the gate. And it comes up, and, and, and you, you go in, you sit down in the little area, and they say to you, well, they, they go, the, you know, now boarding rows 62 to 50 or something mm. like that, right? So, you see, like, everybody <laughs> gets up and goes and queues up, don't they? Yeah. And you're thinking to me, there's only 12 <laughs> rows there, so that's only 100 people. How is the 200 people <laughs> going to fit in 12 rows of seats? <laughs> and, and I always think to myself, if that was me at the front, mm -hmm. I would be saying, well, I'm sorry, can you not count? It's 50 to 62. You need to go and no, sit down. No, that happens. Oh, I would, uh, I would do that. You're doing that now, because you know the bit where they say we would like to invite all the disabled people or, or yeah. people who need an extra hand yeah. and all the minors in. And this couple, who quite clearly had nothing wrong at mm. all and were clearly not minors either, yeah. stroll up and the woman at the front said, excuse me, I don't believe we need you right now. Go and sit <laughs> over there. And I'm like, oh, That's yeah. Brilliant. Good. The only time, the yeah. only time I like it is when I used to fly up a class when I was when work were paying and I'd fly yeah. up a class and you can board any time. So mm. when they would go, when they would say, "We're now inviting passengers as small children and uh, and uh, those who need assistance or extra trying to board the plane, please to board now." And I'd be off. I'd be. I'm getting on there first. I'm having seat one A. That's where one <laughs> A every time is brilliant. <laughs> yeah, that's the same if you're um, an elite flyer. Yeah, you get the old uh, you get the old uh, preference. You can get on at any time you like, can't you? So, brilliant. Yeah, that's, that's one good thing about my wife having to travel all the crazy stuff for work. She gets all the frequent flyer perks. They're great, aren't they? I, I used to be a gold card member at Virgin. I used to fly so much. <laughs> now, now I've had to drop down to a red. I feel really pauperous having to go and queue up in the economy <laughs> section. Do you know what I mean? Like, what do you mean economy? I used to check in at premium, whatever class I was flying. Welcome do you know to what the I mean? real world. I know it's sad. I got to, got to fly with the plebs. I used to be, I used, yeah. I used to be proud to get on the plane, sir. Turning right, are you? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know what you mean, turning right. I, I didn't realise there was a right-hand side to the plane. <laughs> <laughs> Steve, listen, mate, thanks very much for your call. Yeah, All right. No um, bye. Take care of yourself, mate. Ta-da. Uh, somebody's been hanging on the phone for ages. Hello? Eight minutes late, Jim. Well, I'm sorry, Alan, but, <laughs> but, 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 but we were having quite, uh, quite a, uh, a decent conversation with Steve, mate. Go on, what's, uh, what's the latest well, on... Uh, yes, it is Fat Steve's fault. Absolutely. Tell you, Fat Steve. Yes. Tell him your food and you, table. You, you, you tell him, Alan. You tell him. Right, like, what's. Your food and table with your well hung cox man at 415. Still not good enough to beat the steak Halloween, but it's still top of the table with 466. Joe, in the studio, you're 15 with your old Team Rock Monkey, 200 and untweet. Above Stubal in 17th with his NTTBS heroes on 278. Chris Marks, he's doing well. 13 with his bastards on 3 2 1. What a dusty bin score that is. 3 2 1, he's on. 12 with his all stars on 3 2 2. And Chappers is 7th with his 6th Crudimals on 3 8 3. Wandy Lord is 4th with his rapist on 400. On 22nd with the bin liners on 2 3 1. Three, Above Mr. Weedle, who's 25th, <laughs> on 204. For God's sake. Alan, am I ahead of you? Yes, you are. You're on 278, I'm on 231. Oh, that's pretty. You're beating me? Yeah. Oh, 25th, I can't believe that. <laughs> Christ, I'm Stephen up. Stephen Hawkins, the 20th, with Will Chad on <laughs> on 237. <laughs> and we've got a new one at the bottom. Battle <coughs> D United. Samuel Pantry, the manager, on 95 points. That's not bad for a new if joiner. If you want to enter the competition, you have to go on guardian.co.uk forward slash fantasy football. And if you want to join the team, you have to do... Click on NTDVS League, but on... Oh, matron! Password is matron. It is matron, yes. Alan, thank you very much indeed, mate. Anyway, I'm off to the karaoke now. Yeah, you go to karaoke, are you? Yeah. Have Hi, fun. Man. Take care. ta -da. Oh, didn't even get a bye. Ellington Lodge Hotel at the Concord Club, a unique place to stay. Set in quiet woodland near Lakeside Country Park, Ellington Lodge is ideally suited whether your stay is for business or pleasure. Our mouldy fig wine bar offers a comfortable, relaxed atmosphere, serving food, wines and local real ales, with live jazz music three nights a week and alfresco dining in the summer months. Visit our website, theconcordclub.com, for further details. Are everyday items stretching your family income to the limits at the moment? Me too. Well, I found this amazing website 
comparison-plus.co.uk. It's amazing. You can compare the prices of thousands of products from all the big retailers. And what's more, it's a totally free service. You don't have to become a member to use Comparison Plus. But if you do register with comparison-plus.co.uk, you get cashback rewards, giving you even bigger savings. Don't pay over the odds. Click comparison-plus.co.uk and start saving now. Play 2 UK, live at the Southampton Boat Show. The Southampton Boat Show celebrates its 40th anniversary this year and will be broadcasting around the world from this international event. I'm Richard Cartridge and I'll be on the air from 10 o'clock, followed by Ricky Salmon at midday, with over 500 exhibitors and 700 boats on display, including powerboats, yachts, dinghies and much more. We'll be indulging all your maritime fantasies. Play 2 UK, live from the Southampton Boat Show 2008. From the 16th to the 18th of September. Broadcasting live to the UK. News, information, entertainment and the best music from the past 40 years. This is Play 2 UK. This is not the Tommy Boyd Show with Stu and Matt on Play 2 UK. Beware, the contents of this show may offend. When I sat me down... Listen to the play radio. I could not believe me ears. What had happened to my show? I don't know. I don't know either. I tried to get connected. Mm -hmm. Like I'd done so many times before. But the Skype chat was down and out. Oh, oh, oh where did it go? Jaja said, Has to be a better way. No Skype chat, no cry. Hi, hi. Judge, just see. They're going to find a better way. No Skype chat, no cry. Listen, people. Studio people, they got to be listening. Right from the start until the end. There ain't no time, no time You got to pay attention, my friends So let's all just cut them some slack And wait till the mojo come back Let's be right with them, the ups and downs Even though they sometimes act like clowns <laughs> Ja, ja, see We're going to find a better way Okay Sky chat, no cry. Ay ay, ay ay. Judge us, see. We're going to find a better way. Okay. No sky chat, no cry. Stick it with the yard. Oh, sky chat, no cry. No cry. No Skype chat, no cry. Hey, yeah. No Skype chat, no cry. I read, I read, I read the email. No Skype chat, no cry. Come on, children of the earth. No uh -huh. Skype chat, no crime. Nice. Bravo. Let's see if Mr. Happy Tree. Fantastic. It's good, that, wasn't it? Yes. Mm, great. Line one, good evening. Oh, go ahead uh, for Jingle myself. Oh, go on. Oh, 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 controversial. Alan's going to do his own jingle. <laughs> go for it. Birmingham, the centre of England. Famous for many things. Unfortunately, it also gives us. Alan Caddick, the pulse. Can you feel it? <laughs> Excellent. That was, good. that was quite funny. I, feel, I like that, Alan. I feel quite dirty. <laughs> <laughs> How the hell did you convince Barry White to do that? Um, that's amazing. <laughs> Isn't Barry White dead? Yes, yes he is. He yes. Is. Yeah, I think I think John Peel might. John, John Peel probably had a hand in it. 
That, that was very good, Alan. I like that. That's very good. Cheers, Alan. Good Enjoy karaoke. Okay, mate. Bye. Bye. Line two, good evening. You know, when I called earlier, I, I said that Alan had, like, uh, become a little bit more professional. <laughs> just scrub that. <laughs> <laughs> I, got, I got a jingle. I think I just got one. Go on. Why not listen to Alan Caddick? Because you was already fucked because you were in hospital. <laughs> 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 for Thanks. those for those that still have a pulse. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much, Eduardo. Oh, that's quite good. Isn't it? I like that. That's good. That I like that. Right, Ooh. back to the regular sort of things. Seeing as Joe's here, yes. Music, yes. Okay, <laughs> I've finished chewing now. You're mm. chewing. <laughs> There's the chocolate. Swallow, um, love, swallow. Mm, yes. The Walkmen Filthy. are a band from New York. Mm hmm And I was made aware of them by a listener. Wow. Who has recommended that we give them a shot. And Hold. they've just got a new album out. Hold up there. <laughs> Sorry, mate. Line one. Can Alan do that voice every time he calls up, lads? Because at least it's better than his fucking normal. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have to ask him. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Joe, go ahead. Sorry. Um, yes, a uh, listener brought them to our attention. I quite like them. I think they're good. They're going to be here in the new, in the new year mm -hmm. from October. Um, and you can check out their website on marcata.net forward slash walkmen. And this is in the new year. Um, just October next year? or October No, this year. <laughs> You said they're going to be here in the new year, and then you said in October. In the new year. Oh, no, the in the new year is a song. Oh, right, sorry. See, I can't even read my own writing. There you go. Right, here it is.
So, yeah. who, so who are these guys? The Walkmen. They're the Walkmen. As if you if you had a Walkman and bought another one, you would have Walkmen. Right. You'd have two, wouldn't you? Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> two Walkmans. Anyway, <laughs> they're playing uh, London, Manchester, Bristol, Leeds, Glasgow, Dublin. Give them a lick. I think it's great. It's music. Give them a what? People. Give them a lick. Oh, I oh, you could give them a lick. I if you like. I thought she said give them a lick. Yeah, if they come down Portsmouth way, I might drop in. Lick him. Give them give a lick. Licking and Yes. Anyway, <laughs> thanks, Rick. For yes, thank you very much for that. Uh, right. That was new music for this week. Good. I like back, that. Back for more with Joe next time. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm just going to take over and play music everywhere. Yeah, why not? I'll just, I'll just say this is my new music. Yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, this is from my new album. Every other, every other <laughs> DJ in the country now seems to have some new music that they've found. That, mm. Do you know what I mean? Oh, always... I, I could just find it myself. Yeah. Yeah. You seem to be good at that. Go under yeah. a different name. Okay. Each week. <laughs> yeah, go under different weeks and this, stuff. There's a new Scottish <laughs> artist <laughs> by the name of... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know, uh, jo Jolene Mick Splafferty. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Oh uh, one two four three fifty five sixty sixty. If you want to give us a call, the phone lines are open for you to do absolutely anything you like. And if you want to recommend a band, if you thought that was rubbish and you can do better, or you know of someone better, then send to Joe at ntbs dot com. Yeah, J O, not J O E. J O. Yeah, J not J O E. Yeah. It's good. Yeah. Uh, right. Yeah. Topics. Oh yeah. There were some somewhere online. There were. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we had uh, we had uh, jingles for Alan Caddick. Alan Caddick and his jingles. Hospital radio gig. Now listen to this. If this runs up quick, let's see how fast yes. this runs up, shall we? Okay, why not? This is from Steve Bentley. Fifteen thirty medium wave and patient line channel one hospital radio with Alan Caddick. Now the trucks don't work. They just make you worse, but I know I'll see your face again. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> nice one. Uh, 01243556060, 50, 60, studio at playradiouk.com and play.radio.uk if you want to call us on Skype. Um, where would you emigrate to? Um, have you ever thought about it? That's uh, one of the topics. Uh, anybody ever made you so mad that you've wanted to go crazy? That was another one. You only had one which was inappropriate company names. Yes, on the basis that I saw a nursing home today called The Hearse. Hmm. That's, pretty, that, that's <laughs> a great that. name, that, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? I love that one. Uh, and uh, the topic for this hour, and for the rest of the night as well, uh, is uh, what was the last lie you told? And you can do this anonymously. We'll do it on email and won't read your name out. Uh, if you want to send us a message on Skype, play.radio.uk, we'll also not read your name out for that. Or you can call us and you can just be honest about it, I don't care. 01243 55 60 60. The last lie you told, Aaron Weedle. I got one, right? Sarah had this bottle of some sort of alcoholic drink in the fridge. And last night, um, I hadn't, didn't have any booze, so I drank it. <laughs> and she came down this morning, she said, oh, f see you finished off my alcohol. I said, no, it was a passing tramp came knocking on. <laughs> <laughs> asking if we had any, so I let him finish it off. And I, she probably didn't believe me, but that's the last lie I ever saw. <laughs> Joe? I can't remember, I tell so many. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always lying. Now, Fiona's got kids, so she's obviously lied to the kids quite frequently, I would suspect. Yes. Yes, yes like why they couldn't have something they wanted. Ooh, now, mm. nice parents tell their children. <laughs> Mm. I've got one of those. Come on, then. <laughs> My mum once told me that only people with brown eyes get ice cream headaches. So when I went to my friend's house and had a party at age 20, she got an ice cream headache and I said out loud, <laughs> But you can't! You've got blue eyes! <laughs> 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 and the whole room just going, what? <laughs> what are you on about? <laughs> yeah, so I went back to my mum. She said, yeah, I lied. <laughs> nice! Oh, I like that. Uh, line one, hello. Good evening! Good evening! Hello there, it's G-Man Junior. Hello, Mr. G-Man Junior, how are you? The, I'm very well, thank you, Stuart. Yourself? Good, I am extraordinarily great and fantastic uh, today. Fantastic, isn't it? Wonderful to be alive. I was in Bournemouth on Friday night, mate. Were you? Yes. Is it still full of old people and students? Actually, it was full of nobody, to be honest with you. It was quite really? quiet, yeah. yeah <laughs> there, was, <laughs> there was no one there. I went to this bar called uh, Aruba. If you know oh, where that right. is. It's above the yeah. entrance to the pier. 
Oh, right, I know, well, I know, I know the interest. Yeah, 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 it was quite nice, it was expensive, but nice, you know, so. Ah. What could I do for you this evening? Well, you mentioned what was the last lie that you told. Yes. Uh, I impersonated a member of the, uh, of the law. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> now, boy, have I got a story to tell you about this. Let me just, uh, do that and put that person on hold for a second. So, uh, Monday night at work, there was a leaving party for, uh, for a guy who was emigrating back to, uh, Australia. He's, a, he's Kiwi, but he was emigrating to Australia. Mm -hmm. Go figure. Uh, anyway, uh, so this party went on, uh, down the pub. It starts at half past five. I left at ten o'clock and it was still in full swing. I get in on the Tuesday morning to find that some comedy jester had decided to do a, uh, a Gareth from the office and super glue my telephone handset to the base part of it on my desk. No so, way! So that couldn't actually lift the handset up, right? Uh, I also came back Not to find... No, I also came back to find a fire extinguisher with a gay porn mag strapped around it sitting in the middle of my desk. Um, <laughs> um, and, uh, oh, somebody had... Somebody had hilariously super glued my mouse yeah. in into the USB socket on my keyboard so that I couldn't nice. actually take the mouse no out. No way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so, so that, because glue that, and computers just go really They go well so well, time. don't they? So, so that, that was the only thing that really knocked me off about it. It was because it was my mouse and my keyboard, not the company's one. So I was a little yeah. bit peeved about it. Anyway, so, uh, so I, so I kind of thought, who can I get to do my comedy jape phone call that, so, that, that the uh, Isolda who is our office manager, mm -hmm. she wouldn't know who it was. So I mm. thought about Aaron, and I thought, no, because she's met Aaron, she might recognise his voice from when she was down here. So I phoned up old G-Man Junior. And I said, G-Man Junior, I need you to phone up as a policeman. And he said, why? And I said, well, because what happened was, after the pubs closed at 11 o'clock, all these people that were still there decided to go back to the office and have a party in the office. Uh, which consequently consi consisted of all the beer that was in the office was finished. Uh, the champagne bottles that are all stored in the cupboard for people's birthdays were all finished. Any cool pictures on the photocopier? There's not, because we don't have a photocopier at Passe. Um, but uh, we've, we're on the first floor of this building, right? And it's above a shop, and it's got a flat roof above the shop. Right. And what they've done is they've found this set of sp computer speakers, but when I'm saying computer speakers, I'm not talking like the little piddly ones you have on your desk. It's like a big f surround sound, mm -hmm. five point one hundred watt system, yeah. and they've whacked it right up. Apparently, this was still going on at three o'clock in the morning. So I phoned Mr. W Mr. Uh, Mr. G Man Junior, and said, "So you need to pretend to be a policeman who's had complaints about the noise." <laughs> so Detective Edel. Not Weedle because he was phoned up. Yes. <laughs> phoned up. The look on Isolde's face was a picture. She's going through. She's picked up the phone. She's going. Good afternoon. Company name. Good afternoon. And can I help you? And uh, yes. Uh, what was it, Gary? Something like. Uh, uh, I, I can't remember which officer name I used, but I was Detective Sergeant Somebody, and I just explained that I'd had some. I actually found went on Google Google and found out the name of the street next door. Yes. And said there'd been a complaint from, I think it was Eaton Road or something, I think it was. Yeah. Um, and uh, you gave me the details and I, I explained the information and then I said that uh, we'd have to send an officer down uh, to, to take a statement from anyone that was involved. Involved, And then because she, she asked a few questions, I kind of said, you know, well, I, we'll need to send them down a, a marked police car, so where can we park? <laughs> and I almost, because of course, because of course I don't know the area, I almost completely gave it away. She said, well, you can't work at park outside the building. It's like a, you know, like a, like a, a an open area. Yes. So I said, oh, well, it's, we're a police car. We can park wherever we want. <laughs> 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 and then she happened to say, oh, no, there's a, there's a, like a Waitrose car park nearby. Oh, yeah, we'll park in there. Don't worry. Um, but, uh, yes, I managed to say that the, the officer coming down was a Mr. Edel, an officer Edel, uh, B. Edel. Uh. <laughs> Nice. She, she, she didn't get that. Part. She completely missed that entirely. Yes. Yeah. Well, you know, it, did, it, you know, it's just did, a little did, bit of added. Did it work, Jill? It, it, it worked. So the, the look on her face was something like big smiley. <laughs> Hello, how can I help you? And it was hi. This is Detection Sergeant. And, and it was uh huh, uh huh. Uh -huh. And it was this gradual like <laughs> this gradual <laughs> smile went to really serious. It went, <laughs> Ooh, as the yeah. phone call went on, and it was like, oh. Now, <laughs> what what Gary doesn't know is that immediately after the phone call, what happens is, is that an email gets sent by Azolda to all of the members of the company that were there that, the night before. Right? Yeah. yeah. Please meet me in the meeting room. Oh, the police, brilliant. The police are coming. <laughs> we need to get our story straight. <laughs> no way! So, we, uh, so, so, so the guy sitting next to me, so the guy sitting next to me goes, here, look at this, right? <laughs> so, 
So he says, so he says, here, look at this. He says, um, he says, uh, look at this email. I look at it. I absolutely cracks up because obviously I'm, there's me and one other person in the office are in on this gag, right? There's no one else in on it, and they're all looking right, and they're all looking really serious. And I'm like, and I'm absolutely wetting myself. The next. <laughs> The next, so then, so then, Azolda has to go and tell her boss, who's the oh finance God. director. Oh, no. 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 So, so she goes. So, so I see Azolda walk around the office to the people that were involved, and she's kind of like, "Yes, yes, we need to go in the meeting. We need to get our story. You know, the police are coming. This, that, yeah." And then she, and then she kind of like, she's like, and she's like, you know, you know, when somebody's like not quite sure what to do, so they yeah. kind of, they kind of wander one way, wander another. <laughs> she walks up here, she walks down there. She, she's all over. Lost it. And then she goes, and then she goes to her boss. By which time, now her boss is probably like, oh, if you imagine like line of sight between me and Fiona, but there's a bigger computer screen in the way, so I'm looking like this, watching what's going on. I see Isolde kneel down and start, and she goes, she goes, uh, Robin, um, I'm, I'm really sorry, by which time I have to move like this, because I'm now in <laughs> stitches. I'm in absolute stitches. She said, and, and, and I can overhear what she said, she says, Robin, I'm really, really sorry, she said, uh, but, uh, but, but the police are coming down to interview us about the noise from last night. Apparently they had three complaints. And Robin's like, oh. Three? You bloody. <laughs> <laughs> got three from, but anyway. She goes, yeah. she, she goes, I'm she goes, she goes, oh, and, and so, so Robin's like, oh well, you know. I, I, she goes, I'm not being funny as old as she goes, but you know, blah, 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 and she goes like a little bit. Oh, see, now Robin's in on the gag. She knows she's the other oh, person. Brilliant. Right. right. So, so she knew. So she kind of put the wind up her. So then, you know, so we had to go downstairs and have a coffee to calm the nerves and this and that. <laughs> and then we get back into the office and the police are now coming in 15 minutes. So I says to Azolda, I says, oh, you better put the kettle on then. I said because obviously you can soften them up with a cup of tea. Said, well, while you're at it, I'll have one, right? <laughs> <laughs> so Azolda then makes a complete tea round for the entire office, right? Because she thinks. Everybody needs to be plus eighted a little bit. I took this on for an hour and a half. <laughs> right. She kept looking at me going, she kept looking at me going, oh, I'm surprised they haven't turned up yet. I am, I, I, literally, it was about five o'clock by the time I actually got round to telling her that it was a, it was a, the biggest gag of the decade. Oh, her, and, mate. And the look on her face, she was just like, you <laughs> I think that was the moment I, she got so mad she wanted to hit someone. But I tell you, yeah, I tell you, she just kept referring to it. I mean, Gary was going to phone up again and go, I'm sorry, but uh, we're running a bit late and this, that, and the other. I said, no, no, no. I said, that might be pushing it a little bit too far. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, so that was the last G Man Junior lie. That, that was the last lie that I told. Obviously, yes. it was for comedy effect. Yes, so, uh, but it, well, quite count. it was. So, okay. It was so funny. I, I, I tell you, I haven't laughed so hard in ages. Uh, it was the best wind up. Because, I, I, you see, I've got this thing, I'll do, it, I'll do a wind up to her. I'll just phone her up. I phoned her up a few weeks ago and I went, um, I went, hello, um, this is, uh, this is, uh, I don't know, John Reeve. I, I'm calling from, uh, I'm calling from Viking Office Supplies. Um, are you the person in charge of, uh, tea and coffee in the office? And she's like, yes, I am, yes, yes. Um, um, and, and, and I said, and what type of tea or coffee do you use? She goes, well, we get the big, you know, the big cup, uh, pots of Nescafe and PG tips bags. I went, oh, right. I said, uh, can you do me a favour? And she went, yes, what's that? So go and put the fucking keep tea on and put the phone down. <laughs> <laughs> Look, looked across at her and she was like, Bastard! Like, I, I love it. I get at least once a week with a gag. So oh. doing it with somebody else is she brilliant. She must love oh, you. Oh, she loves me. She, oh. she, she, she thinks I'm the world. I'd have murdered you, oh. by the <laughs> way. This wouldn't exist. That's great. <laughs> uh, Gary, listen, mate. Uh, thanks very much for that. I appreciate That's it. A pleasure. And I'll, uh, That's the least talking I've ever done on a phone call ever. <laughs> <laughs> hey, see, I was just trying. To, I'll get into trouble if Matt if Matt hears you talking too much. So. Well, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to upset Matt all the way over. Really. <laughs> <laughs> He's probably got flipping rained out, hasn't he? Yeah, well, it'd be quite funny. I bet his orange jacket's not quite as orange as it was now, is it? No, but no. there you go. Thanks, well, mate. I'll, I'll, I'll speak to you later. Bye-bye. Take care. Ta-da. <laughs> Cheers. Uh, let's see. Is this person still on hold? Hello? No. In which case, we're about five minutes late for this. <laughs> what is she like, eh? Yeah, she's mad, isn't she? Yeah, always on for a laugh when we go on holiday. I didn't think she'd actually do it, though, did she? Hey? No way. So how much did they say the hospital bill was going to be? I don't understand the Spanish. About 15 grand. Right. Hello, Mrs. Draper, it's Stacey. It's about Vicky. She had an accident in the hotel. She should be OK, but there's going to be a big bill from the hospital. You know that car Mr. Draper was thinking about? It can be a real problem if things go wrong on holiday, and an expensive one too. So if you're going on holiday with your mates this year, make sure you know about everything you need before you go. Visit fco.gov.uk slash travel for more information. It's not the Tommy Boyd Show with Matt and Stu, only on Play 2 UK. Beware, the content of this show may offend. Oh, now, hang on a minute. In which case we'll have to sort this out on the air, which is because we're a bit <gasps> rubbish like that. Mm. Fiona, for the game that we're about to play, mm -hmm. I need you to disconnect, not your computer, but the uh, ability to be able to see the screen. 
Thank you. Because the answers, because the, an, well, the answers, no are messing the answers yeah. are all up here on my Facebook. You see, so I, uh, I need to uh, let me just do uh, waffle for a second, guys, won't you? All right. Waffle, 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 waffle. So Stuart's apparently doing something here. It, it says it's game time, big quiz time. I have no I'm idea. Not what very he's good got at games, I have to say. Do either of you know what he's got in store? I have no mm. idea at all, but I'm slightly worried. Who <laughs> 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 would have to measure in? <laughs> No, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's blankety blank. Oh! Oh, cool! Okay. Okay. I can't remember how that works. I remember seeing a clip of this on Family Guy and it was hilarious. Do you remember this one? Uh, they were watching blankety blank, the American version, and the guy was talking about uh, firing a gun and uh, he said if, instead of filling his gun with live ammo, he filled it with blanks. And that was, that was it. Everyone was like, what? <laughs> Okay. Look <laughs> anyway, that is that is pretty poor. Pretty poor, really. He was on Family Guy. Yeah, I know, but it's a pretty poor gag, really, isn't it? Yeah. Probably. Would you shave my coin purse? Yes, I would. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, we're going to play a game of blankety blank, but we need a caller who's going to be the contestant. We're all going to be the panel. Okay. Right? Right, okay. I'm going to be the host, mm -hmm. and you guys are the panel. Mm. For the, those uninitiated amongst us, you can only remember that it exists, how does it work? So, <coughs> it's seven rounds because that's all the amount of questions I've written. Okay. And then the super match game at the end. So what happens is, I'll read you a blank something. Right. Right, like, um, blank back, oh, um, right? Yeah. You then have to write down what you think the back might be. The contestant then answers with their uh, answer and if they match they get a point. If oh, they don't, okay. then that's it. So if they match with three, <coughs> they get three points or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we're not going to do it with the if you get it if you don't match with that person, you're out and all that. Do lot, we need to write anything thing. down here? You, yeah, you do, mate. You need a bit of paper. I told you that oh, before the okay. show. All right, let me get. And uh, are you Dawson or Wogan? Uh, actually, I'm going to be Ambrose Roids are hurting. Okay. <laughs> that, that was just because that was just the first name that came into my head while I was writing it on the train the other day. Ambrose Roids are hurting. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try line one. Hello. Can I play the game? No. Why do you want to play the game? Oh, you've hung up. Tough. Line two, hello? 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 I can't, hello, who's this? Oh, who's that? Who? Is that Paulie? Who's that? I don't know. It's sounding like Paulie. Okay. Hello? Hello, hello? Hello there. Ah, yeah. <laughs> it's, oh, it's Ronnie Corbett. <laughs> <laughs> Have I called at the wrong time? Are you doing some sort of game or something? Well, do you want to play blankety blank, Ronnie? Oh, do I ever? Do God, you? It's not as good as small talk, though. <laughs> 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 All right, then uh, what we need to do is play uh, the theme tune. <laughs> I know it's not blankety blanks these tunes. <laughs> it's not one I remember. Because I couldn't find uh, I couldn't find a decent copy of the blankety blank one. This one in grain, but this is Wheel of Fortune, but we'll use it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, alright. Yeah, anyway, so uh Good, right, blankety blank. We all know the rules, right? We know how to play this. Ronnie, do you know how to play blankety blank? Uh, no, but let's make it up as we go along. Yeah, right? that's what I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to read out. Th I'm going to read out some letters with the words blank at the beginning, right? Or some no, no, some words, sorry, with the word blank at the beginning or the end, and you've got to fill in uh, fill in the gaps. Basically, as simple as that. Not too hard. If I get it wrong, I just play the blonde card. <laughs> <laughs> so we uh, we'll start. With what we're going to do is then I'll read the question. There'll be a bit of thinking music for you guys there to write down your answer, and Ronnie to think of one, and then we'll mm -hmm. go to Ronnie for his answer. All right. Oh, right, so it's me first, is it? Well, no, I'll read out the question. Then these three guys are going to write down what they think the blank is. You right. need to th you need to think of a, what, what you might be, and then you have to tell us what you think it is. Right. Okay, Nail. let's try this one, all right, because it's very easy. The first one is blank flat. Flap, oh, sorry, flap. F-L-A-P. Blank flap. <laughs> okay. Yep, yep, go on, yeah. Fiona? Well, I'll just make it up. Yeah, go on. What, you want to know my answer? No, no, but have you got okay, one? Okay, yeah. Okay. Joe? I've got one, yeah. You've yet. got one as well, right. <laughs> have all the girls got the flaps ready? Yes, they've all... <laughs> 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 right, so what, I have to do is put something of mine be before the flaps. You now have to think of something... Yeah. <laughs> 
right? <laughs> That's exactly right, yeah. yes. Yeah. Yes. Right, well, well, I was thinking about pussies, so I'm going to go with, with cat flaps. Cat flaps! <laughs> yeah. Aaron, what do you have? He cat. has cat. I don't have a ding, 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 ding. We'll have a play buzzer. There you go. That's okay. the right. That means yep. the right answer, by the way. Yep. I've got cat. I so don't have cat. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> I'm not telling you. What do you have? What do you have? What do you have? Flip. <laughs> flip flap. Well, <laughs> you're <laughs> 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 I don't know. I said I was going to make it up. There you go. Ronnie, you've yeah, got... Have you got two left feet and you went into a shop and had to repair a flip-flip? <laughs> 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 hey, flip-flips. No, mine would be flop-flops. Flop-flops. <laughs> <laughs> right, uh... I'll tell you something that's flopping right now. <laughs> I'll talk about the quiz. Right, yeah, yeah, no, right. <laughs> <laughs> Question. That, that qu was the practice That was the one. practice one, yeah. number one, right? Are you ready then? So, the, so, God, I'm not sure I should have started this bit. Number two is, uh, monkey blank. <laughs> Are we all done? Yep. Yep. No, no. no we're still thinking over here. <laughs> Joe? Yeah, okay. Yeah? Yeah. Fiona? Yeah? yeah. Yep. Aaron? Yeah, right. Ronnie? Monkey blank. I know, well, I was thinking about monkey nuts and jizzle. <laughs> so, I, mean, I think I'm going to toss off that idea. <laughs> I'm going to go with bars. Monkey bars. Monkey bars. <laughs> Jism. I love that word. That's great. <laughs> right, Aaron. Jism. 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 Man. Suit, suit. That didn't. That didn't go there. So you didn't win that one, right, yeah. Joe? I've got bars. I've, I'd written down wrench actually. Bars. That's all right. That's one for I'm Ronnie. Sure it, that's so. one for Ronnie. Fiona. <laughs> Fiona's got house. Monkey house. Ooh. That doesn't score. No, no, <laughs> no. Do? No. In fact, we should have the buzzer for that one. Really, shouldn't There's we? There's a monkey house in Aberdeen actually, and it's a bar, which is even weirder. Is it? So, yeah. Cool. Okay. It's nice place. Thank you. Right, uh, <laughs> Ronnie, you're scoring three at the moment, mate. <laughs> Should we try for uh, this? I'm not quite sure what the old point of this was. I don't know. It was, some, it, was uh, it was a great idea when I was hungover the other morning. Uh, <laughs> right. Question number three, Ronnie, uh, is uh, getting slightly harder. By the way, uh, Ooh, yes. the next one is blank willow. Blank willow. Are we all done? No. Fiona looks stuck. Why am I finding these so hard? I don't know. Think of a tree. Well, yeah, they are, but... Okay. Yeah, but blank willow. Yeah, so something willow. Okay. All right. Joe. Pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Aaron. Willow. Oh, wait a minute. Hang on. No, no, no. Oh, sorry. I've, oh, got, I've gone wrong because I forgot to ask Ronnie what his That's answer Ronnie. was first. <laughs> <laughs> what is your answer, then? Remember me. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> the contestant. Yeah, sorry it? about that. Yes. Yes, yeah, sorry. <laughs> 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 I guess I'm not getting on daytime TV anytime no, soon. No. Right. <laughs> Ronnie. Well, you're not Ian Lee. That's <laughs> <laughs> Does he get on daytime TV nowadays? Uh, who gives a fuck? <laughs> <laughs> who watches? <it>? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> right. Your answer. So, uh, some the blank willow. Yes. This this is a difficult one. I, I was thinking at first. If the answer is pussy willow, the question is, what's that you're rubbing in my face, Buffy? <laughs> 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 uh, I knew Willow the witch, you know. <laughs> you even eat a bathroom bum sponge. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I'm going to go with Willow's pussy. <laughs> with Willow's pussy. Pussy Willow, right, we know you've got it with Joe. Fiona. 
Little. Little Willow. No. Little <laughs> <laughs> I've got a pussy as well. You've got a pussy as well, yeah, we know. Two. <laughs> That's uh, five you've got now, Roddy. That's not bad. That's not bad. Yeah. Oh, crikey. Where did I go wrong? Uh, <laughs> Choosing <laughs> seven questions. Yeah, I know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> excuse me. Uh, question number four, Ronnie, is... Uh, it's blank hunt. H-U-N-T. Blank hunt. How are we doing? Have you only got one? Yeah, well, I'm just, I'll just, I'm just going to give the comedy answer. That's fine. Joe? Uh, no, not yet. <laughs> yes, yes. Right. Aaron? Yep. Brilliant. Ronnie, blank, hunt. Right. I, I'm not going to be original here at all. I'm going to go in. Do you remember the film Porky's? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Remember King <laughs> Cattrall banged in the locker room as a dirty co -ed? Yes. Yeah. Well, I don't know if, it's, if that's legal or not, but I'm going to have some of it. But, uh, <laughs> I'm going to go with Mike. You're going to go with what, sorry? Mike. Mike. That is incredibly rude. Joe. I don't have You don't Mike. have Mike. I don't, I don't get that. Mike, no, so, I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> you're saying it's you're too nice. I'm slowly for me, Fiona. No. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have Mike? <laughs> I have bargain. Cheap as chips. Bargain hunt. Uh, Joe, what did you have? Fox. Fox hunt. <laughs> Man. Manhunt. Oh, oh, that was close, sir, I suppose. Uh, unfortunately, Ronnie, that's a big fat zero on that one, mate. Bloody hell. I oh, know, it's not, really not going well. well. It's not going well at the moment, but, you know, there's plenty of time to recover. You ready for question number five? You ready? And my man was better than your mic, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Question number five is blank banker. Blank banker. What is this music? Jeopardy. <laughs> it's great, isn't it? Aaron, is are you... I'm a little too I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> Blank banker. I'm ready. The owner's got one. Joe? Yeah. All right, Ronnie? Ronnie. Blank banker. To be merchant, <laughs> uh, I know a guy who's a right merchant banker. You know, a Tommy Tanker. <laughs> <laughs> but I think it's in Italy this <laughs> week. Well, I'm going to go with merchant anyway. Merchant, right? <laughs> uh, Joe, merchant? Not quite investment. Investment, Fiona. Merchant. Whee! Whee! And uh, Aaron. <laughs> Merchant. That's two. <laughs> oh, Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Will the fun never start? <laughs> hey, cheeky. <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing so hard I've got a cough. <laughs> Spit it out. Right. Cough it out, love. Uh, right. <laughs> Ronnie. That's Not only lobster bib, though. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Ronnie, seven points you're on now. Uh, so we will move on to question number six. If I fade the fader. Question number six. Uh, let's try blank a doodle do. Blank a doodle do. No, because I know no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Mm. <laughs> Blank a doodle do. Joe? Have you got it? Have you got an answer? <laughs> have you got an yeah, answer? Yeah, I've got an answer. Have you got an answer? Yeah. Ronnie, blank a doodle do. I thought you'd give me a hard one, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> um, which leads me into a pathetic joke of did you hear about the guy who mixed his Valium with Viagra? <laughs> no, go on. He didn't get a fuck, but he didn't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, I'm going to go with cock, Ambrose. Cock. <laughs> that's great. Uh, Joe. Yes, that's correct. Fiona. I've got a cock. 
I've got a cock as well. There's a lot of cock in the studio tonight, isn't there? Any cock will do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's three maximum score there for Ronnie on that round. Yes. Right. It's doing well, isn't it, eh? Uh, this is the last round before the super match game, which we don't have a jingle for either, so yeah. uh, it's quite poor, isn't it? Right, you ready? Question number seven, Ronnie. Blank head. Blank head. I'll enjoy giving this one, I don't <laughs> <laughs> uh, Joe? I've got it. Ready? Yes. Fiona? Ready? Aaron? Yep. Ready? Yep. Ronnie? Blank head. Well, you get the cup and I'll get the girls. <laughs> I'm gonna go with shit. <laughs> 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 two girls, two one, girls, one cup, cup. Which I have not seen, and I'd rather not. Is that what they do in that? that? Uh, anyway, uh, you know when you come up with an cup. idea and you think it's a fairly safe and sensible <laughs> game that might have a little. Joe. No, sorry. What did you get? I've got forehead. Forehead. Yes. All right, Fiona. Dick. Dick. <laughs> that's, that's, pretty, that's pretty close. I was trying to be nice. Aaron, I've got a bald head. Got your bald head. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> laughing at. <laughs> so, uh, so we didn't score with shit head. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, we didn't. Yeah. Uh, Thanks uh, for that one. Uh, uh, all right, then. Uh, then uh, right. Well, that's it for the rounds. Then right. So okay. Ronnie, Ronnie scored uh, two, four, six, nine, ten points. Well done. Well done, Ronnie. Now, that was 21, though. Yeah, yeah, it was out of 21, yeah, so yeah, maybe... Yeah, clap. Yeah, in, in, in which <laughs> case... Don't give me the clap, in, in which case you can add this one. <laughs> Um, yeah. right, super match game, right, is always the end final bit where they, you know, where they match with one... Super match game, super That's match it. game. I remember that bit. There yeah. you go. Right, <laughs> so... <laughs> so... Excuse me. Which, uh, which one of our celebrity host panel, uh, Ronnie, would you like to, uh, s s match with tonight? Uh, well, based on those answers, I think I'm going to have to go with the ever lovely JoJo. Right. Okay. Ooh. That's cool. Now, listen. Oh, now, boring. the big, the big prize is is Ronnie's favourite destination. It's a week in Bangkok. Ooh. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Lady Boy Central. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you might like that one. Uh, so, <clears throat> the question is, guys, for Joe and Ronnie, blank thought. Blank Thorpe. Blank Thorpe. Thorpe mm. Blank, I could do. Ooh. I'm not sure if this no, is this, allowed. This one's just Joe. Thorpe. I'm not sure if it's allowed, but. Well, let's see what we go with. Ronnie? I've got a toss between two of them, actually. Right. Um, it, it could be Cleethorpe, but I'm not sure. Uh, I once had a holiday in Cleethorpe, actually. It pissed me down the first week. I wasn't very happy. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't a joke. I, it just rained loads. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I'm thinking of the other place. Uh, <laughs> this is where I actually got caught sucking a Pakistani granny's tits like a Dyson Hoover. <laughs> Thorpe. Joe? Yes! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Google's like, you're down and brown. <laughs> well done. Thorpe. There you go. That, well, that, that means that uh, Ronnie is a winner. <laughs> Yay! Yay! And he's, that means he's won himself a trip to a Bangkok. Oh, thank you. I thought you might like that. <laughs> well, the cock over there is about as fine as the mature cheddar. <laughs> <laughs> Ronnie, thank you very much indeed for taking part. We'll uh, we'll make sure that Matt gets with your holiday soon, all right? Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> Cheers. Have a great night. Take care. Bye, Ronnie. Ciao. Bye -bye. Mike Mendoza. Hello, this is Mike Mendoza. You can catch me Monday to Thursday from 8 o'clock till midnight here on Play 2. It's going to be fun. It's going to be games. It's going to be absolute mayhem. But make sure you're there, won't you? Usual numbers. We'll be waiting for you.
In a world obsessed with celebrities, one woman wanted only one thing. To wake up in the morning to a genuine poster of David Hasselhoff on her wall. To have that poster contain a personal message to her in his very own handwriting. She was faced with fake after fake. Where could she turn for help? The answer was simple. Universal Posters. They have a range of approved celebrity pictures, which even come complete with a personalized message in the celebrity's very own handwriting. This could all be yours for just £7.99. So go to PlayRadioUK.com and click on the Universal Poster banner. Play Radio UK and Universal Posters. Now showing on a PC near you. The National Internet Radio Awards 2008 have landed. And Play Radio needs your help. Play 2 UK has been nominated for a top award and we want you to help us show the world why we're leading the way in the future of radio broadcasting. Only your vote will help us win this award and voting could not be easier. All you have to do is click on the Vote For Us banner on the Play Radio homepage. Votes are limited to one a week, so don't be shy. Vote for us every time you check back into our website, Play 2 UK and the Internet Radio Awards 2008. Vote now and be part of our future. This is not the Tommy Boyd Show with Stu and Matt on Play 2 UK. Beware, the contents of this show may offend. Well, all that hilarity. <gasps> oh. Oh. <sighs> that was quite good. I quite like Ronnie doing that. That was quite funny. Enjoyed that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was a giggle. Like I say, it sounded good after all with a hangover on Tuesday morning <laughs> on the train. But, hey, what do I care? <laughs> uh, <coughs> we're almost fast approaching nine-ish here, which means that the, uh, the Weedles wind up. Yes. At nine o'clock. Yeah, why not? Yeah. Looking forward to that. I am looking forward to this, because this has been in the works for quite a while. Uh, do you know, I would love to string <coughs> it out so much longer, but, nah, let's do it. Let's go really No, it'd be good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, right. 01243 is the phone number. Studio at PlayRadioUK.com is the email address. Skype is Play.Radio.UK. We'll try this one. Hello, on the phone. I can't stop coughing now. Oh, dear, oh, dear me. Mm. <laughs> Right. <laughs> a very high pitch laugh. <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> topics. Do we review the topics, Fiona? Yes, let's do. Are that. you looking for something on YouTube? <laughs> I was. Oh, yeah? oh. Well, not on YouTube. Just um, oh, on Google. On Google. Yes. I'm not having much luck though. Well, so it was. Uh, well, the last topic we introduced was. Uh, what was the last lie you told? Yeah, I mean, I do quite often tell my children lies, but you know, it's all for the good of them. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, like what? if they ask for ice cream, and I say, no, no, it's all gone. What, what was the last? <laughs> what was the last adult lie you told? Oh, I never lie to adults. No, no. Um. Oh. Oh, I don't know. Let me think about it. No, I need to think about mine as well. Mm. Jo Joe just said. Joe just told us I just she lie lies constantly. all the time. Yeah. I'm always lying. Yeah. I'm lying right now. Mine was telling. <coughs> We've had G-Man Juniors. Oh one two four three fifty five sixty sixty. What was the last lie you ever told? Uh, also, uh, inappropriate company name. So, Fiona knows of a uh, was it a nursing home? Did you say or a, or a hospital or something? It was a nursing home. A nursing home called the Hearse. The Hearse yes, and I've got a, <laughs> I've got a builders around the corner who's from us called Beaver. It's great. I love that. <laughs> It's great. I love that name. It's brilliant. Uh, inappropriate, <coughs> inappropriate company names in 01243556060. And where would you like to emigrate to? Hmm. <coughs> I think the last outright lie I told was the one I already said. It was my confession to you mm. when we went to Lanzarote and there was a drunk guy got on the plane, sat next to us and started rabbiting on. I don't like flying at the best of times and having a drunk man just ramble crap at me for hours was worrying. So he said, oh, you're awful quiet. And I turned around and said, yes, I'm, I'm going back to a funeral. So I'd, I'd like it if you didn't talk to me so that I could just sit and, and think about things. And he, then it went really nice and <laughs> so left me alone <laughs> the whole way and apologised um, for talking to, to me uh, when I got off the plane and I felt really bad. <laughs> I, don't, I just couldn't face at least four were, hours. At least you were that. in peace. By a uh, lie completely. Yeah, why Bare not? faced lie. Why not? <laughs> why not? Outrageous. Yeah, the emigration thing, I was contemplating two places. Mm. One of them was Canada. Why wouldn't you get moved to Canada? <clears throat> well, I don't drive, and everything 
you need to drive for, basically, <laughs> unless you live in the city, and I didn't like that that much because I wouldn't go to go and live in the city. Mm. Um, and you just seem to need to drive to get anywhere. There's tax on everything. Right. So when you go to the shop and you buy your things and you add up your beans and sausages and smash, like that's what I would go and buy, and you add it up, you go to the shopping lady and she puts it all through, puts it in a bag for you very nicely and then gives you this random number <laughs> which includes various taxes and if you've had alcohol in any of your shopping they add on an extra alcohol tax. Really? You, it's really impossible, it's impossible to count how much you're going to pay. Because yeah, is, you don't know. And yeah. you, although you I mean you could, I suppose, <laughs> sit with the percentages, but you, there's different percentages for different things as well. So, so they do that in the states or sales tax. That confused me every mm -hmm. time, just even going shopping for food, and yeah. then the tipping is compulsory, which I think is an, I'm not a t compulsory tipper. If someone's no. been mm -hmm. really nice to me, of course I will generously yeah. tip. Yeah. But you have to tip everybody, like the person you rent the canoe from. Mm -hmm. Yes. I didn't know that. Luckily, you know she realised you know we were British and didn't take offence. But apparently, we're supposed to take part as well. Do you know? What I, do you know? What I take offence to is uh, is uh, where did I go? I went out with a friend of mine in, uh, who's over from uh, New Zealand. Mm. And we went to uh, went to a restaurant in London. It wasn't a very posh restaurant. It was just a average Joe restaurant. Go to the toilet. There's a guy in the toilet with all the funky hand soaps and all this, that, and the other mint. Y yeah, and, and a mint, <coughs> and he expects a tip. Now, I'm not being funny or nothing, but I can wash my hands quite happily on my own without some some guy standing there handing me a towel. Mm. I, I do object to having to go and spend a pound to have a pee. I object, mm. to, I object, I object to the 20 pence at Waterloo Station for having a pee. You can mm. just walk down the platform and get on any train they have one for nothing if they're working. Um, <clears throat> Well, that's what they did on those old movies, you know, when the lady said she was going to powder her nose and the man that she was out with would give her some money. And I kind of wondered whether it was for ice creams or something, I wasn't quite <laughs> sure what went on. It turns out in the news that was, they would pay for your tip. <laughs> I just, you know, just go to the toilet to buy an ice cream. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Raspberry <laughs> ripple, please. I was a kid, ice cream was at the forefront of most of my imagining. <laughs> at the time, but yeah, you, you, would, you would tip. But I think it's quite nice if you have an attendant. Helping you out. They have that so? at Glindborn, says name dropping. Yeah. Um, and there's a lady sitting there g offering various. I think it does things. depend. The, the, they surely don't really have mints in the toilet. Though. Oh, they do? Oh, yeah. Are they yeah. all individually wrapped? Yes. Or just oh, yeah, no, they're not like polos on a plate. No, they're all individually wrapped. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> I was thinking more like mint imperials in a no. basket. No, no, they're all individually wrapped. They're like wa uh, wafer thing mints. Why? Oh, it's not a theme. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <I'm> stuffed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're only they're only little thin mints, so like after eights or something, but they're all individually properly wrapped. So. Right. So they, yeah. they don't have poo on them. Yeah. <laughs> no, oh. no, 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 no splashback. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Damn <laughs> mint. The, <laughs> the other place I was thinking of emigrating to was mm. Bulgaria. For some Ooh. unknown reason, they've got great mountain biking and hill walking. Yeah, and the house prices over there are so oh. low. Yes, yeah. really, you can get a huge, really nice house for a, a quarter of what you'd pay over here. Really, mm. but isn't the pay mm. that be said the same? Is a, and isn't the pay equally low? That's the thing. Is your cost of your cost of living is is equally as low as the house prices? So but yeah, you can you then buy the house, and then you wouldn't have the mortgage problem. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, go over with your, your your conversion of cash, mm. buy yourself a nice big house, and then um, just get one of their average wages, or become a pimp over there and yeah. earn yourself some decent money. What do you reckon? <laughs> I'm not sure. I can, can't imagine. Let me just think about that pimp. one for a moment. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's not a bad idea. It's not, is it? It's funny, just because uh, the only reason why I asked the uh, emigrating question tonight is because uh, I've had a bunch of friends who've all emigrated recently. Mm. So, you know. They're not trying to tell you something, are they? <laughs> <laughs> they all seem to be the getting as far away from you as possible. <laughs> Do you know? That's quite possibly true. Probably because you keep pranking them. <laughs> <laughs> this Alter will be going next. <laughs> We're as old. You're right, maybe you're right. Nice. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so I've had one guy who's gone back, gone to Australia. Uh, another friend of mine who actually built the studio in there. Um, he uh, he's gone and moved to Gibraltar. What new gene, oh, was nice. it? No, no, no. It was Rash. Oh, all right. He's he's moved to Gibraltar. Is that where the monkeys are? That's where they got what? Hey, hey, where the monkeys? <laughs> no, they, they have rock? monkeys at Gibraltar. Don't oh, they? Do they? they do. Yeah, you're right. Cool. Like Gibraltar? Monkeys? Yeah, but have, you been, have you been to Gibraltar? No, I haven't. No? Aren't they the ones that attack you, though? For your, for your yeah, crisps for, and, and stuff? Yeah, for your sandwiches. Little sods. You can be sat there just in the middle of the night. Here's a fucking monkey coming at you. I had a nightmare once about a monkey. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> yeah. Was it the one like I in Family Guy? No, yeah. no, well, it, it was kind of like Evil Monkey. <laughs> 
it was on stilts and it was running after me. A monkey on stilts was chasing me. What? And like Because they got big arms as well, haven't they? <laughs> <laughs> it, it was going like that. It doesn't matter how fast I ran, I couldn't get away from this monkey on stilts. You've been drinking that Iceland stuff again. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what it was. You got oh, I'll tell you, hang on a second. Uh, on the phone, good evening. Hey, hey, we're the monkeys. We can't <laughs> stop monkeying around. We all live in Gibraltar. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure why. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> so, what about what about you then, Stu? Where would you emigrate to? New York. Why? Because I love New York. It's a busy, bustling city with all sorts of different things to do every day of the week. Isn't London the same though? London, mm, but I live here. But without the attitude. <laughs> yeah, without the attitude. Well, you say that. You see, it's a common held thing, isn't it? That New Yorkers apparently are like really sort of brash and in your face and what have you, but I've never had a problem. I've been out there, I actually feel safer walking around the streets of Manhattan at three o'clock in the morning, drunk as a skunk, than I would do walking around the West End drunk as a skunk at three in the morning on my own. Really? Yeah. But that's probably because you don't, because you've not been out there and you've not, like, read any of the local papers or seen a Maybe. lot of the crime that happens that often. You Maybe. only go out there for, like, a week at a time. Maybe, and I suppose possibly the other side of it is I've only seen, I've only really, I mean, I've seen the places, you know, like, um... Uh, Jamaica and Queens and the Bronx and this mm. thing. I've been there. I probably wouldn't want to live there. If I was going to live in New York, I would want to live in Manhattan itself. Yeah. As opposed to one of the burbs, as they call it. Um, but I don't know. I like it. As long as you don't go further, for, don't, don't go further than 8th Street. Yeah. Or 8th Avenue, sorry. Don't go further over than 8th Avenue. Why? It's a bit. Hang on a minute. It's, it's a bit. Yeah. I mean, it's just like one of those. It's like going to the roads, like, don't go up on the moors. No, it's a bit like, uh... It's Beware a bit like, the moon, lads. It's a bit like going from Donald Trump to Essex. Right? Mm -hmm. It's going from Midtown Manhattan to anywhere past 8th Ave. Uh, so past 8th eight, Ave is like... Mm -hmm. uh, uh, what, yeah, like the New York Chavs, is it? That's about it, The New yeah. York Chavs. Yeah, the New York Chavs. You yeah. don't want to be seen down there. No, you don't want You'll to be seen You'll get mugged. Yeah, yeah, yeah. By some guy in a big fake gold chain. And his big gold earrings. Yeah. yeah. And gold teeth. <laughs> yeah, with his girlfriend with her, uh, with her lycra shorts on, even though she's got a size 63 <laughs> in bum. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They love big butts out there. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's unfortunate they like big butts, but they have it all hanging out over the top of their, uh, <laughs> likely <laughs> shorts. <you know>? <laughs> <sighs> Sorry about that, girls. <laughs> On the phone, hello. Oh, my old grandmother. I got two very elegant bed fellows who take the first rock of rain and hide in the closet when thunder rumbles. My, 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 what great prospectors. Two shoe clerks reading the magazine about prospecting for gold in the land in the midnight sun, south of the border, west of the Rockies. Ah, such a trap. Shut up, Rob. Smash your head flat. Go ahead. Go ahead and throw it. If you can never leave this wilderness alive. Without me, you two would die here more miserable than rats. <laughs> I like big butts and I can't lie. You other brothers can't just hide. You want a girl walks in with an itty bitty waist and a round thing in your face, you get sprung. Wanna pull up and swing you notice that butt was stuck. And so it goes on. What was stuffed? Apparently <laughs> so. What? <laughs> Whatever floats your boat. Like. I, I would probably. I don't really want to emigrate at all. Cause I have a, have a little look around. I found my island. Yeah. Which you might have seen me um, proudly begging for three million two hundred fifty thousand pounds to buy my island. Oh really? <laughs> so just for yeah. sale in the west all? coast of Scotland. Yes, a snap really, isn't it? But you get three islands. Right. Um, five bedroom house, six be six other houses, a restaurant, a lighthouse, um, and I'm thinking that's quite a bargain, really. Yeah, but then aren't so you if anyone wants to give me any money, aren't you in charge of maintaining all that? Yes, I'd have to run the whole thing, mm. run a restaurant and uh, the letting of things. But I'd open a residential studio. You'd be a busy little lady. It'd be you? great, wouldn't it? And it's got internet and boats. <laughs> so I'm thinking that's, that's where, that's where I want to go, and it's in Scotland, so I could just Inter immigrate. Internet and boats. <laughs> yes. Well, all the things you would need to to communicate with people. Oh, <laughs> you communicate by right. boat, but you would you could go to the mainland. Right. Okay. Oh, I was, yeah. was going to say, has it got electricity and stuff? Yes. It has. I actually, I actually, because a long time ago when I first started a company, not started the company, but started mm. working for it, I was one of the very first employees, and it was right, the, right, right sort of in the middle of the dot com uh, boom, you know. Mm -hmm. And I was promised by the guy around the company that by the time we sold the company, we would all be able to bought to uh, to afford to buy an island in the Caribbean. And me and a friend of mine, I remember one day we sat there, we were, quite, we were quite bored one day, and we sat there looking around websites to buy islands. So I spotted one, it was only $13.5 million, it was a snip. Oh, yeah, bargain. Absolute snip. On the telephone, good evening. Can I have a go on the competition, please, Joe, or am I too late? Oh, you're about oh. half an hour too late, Alan. Oh. Why aren't you at the karaoke? Uh, sorry, mate. Yeah, what are you 
Are you supposed to be singing somewhere? No, no, no the DJ hasn't started yet. Oh, yeah. he's, he's running late tonight, isn't he? What are you going to no, sing? No, he starts at nine, but right. I get there early to annoy him. <laughs> <laughs> that <laughs> doesn't surprise yeah, me. Yeah, no, the feeling. So, who won in the end? So, if you, uh, uh, Ronnie Corbett did. Back on me, Nick. He was the only contestant. He was the yeah. only contestant. <laughs> What was the competition anyway? Uh, uh, listen to the podcast. Fiona wants to know what you're going to sing. Well, I'm doing the Ying Tong song by the Goons. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yes. Ying Tong, 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 Possibly. Yeah. You, you, you would think that after a while of Alan singing it every week, you would just decide to accidentally leave that disc at home, <laughs> wouldn't you? Uh, the wind up is on its way after this. Parents give lots of reasons why they keep smoking when they have a newborn baby. It's just so stressful, what with the crying and the lack of sleep and everything. Well, my parents smoked when I was a baby, and I'm alright. But there are lots more reasons why you should stop. Because smoking around your baby doubles the chance of them dying from cot death. That's why the NHS offers free support to new mothers and their partners who want to quit smoking. We're so glad we quit, for her sake. Yeah, it's been good for us too. For help and support to go smoke free, call the NHS Pregnancy Smoking Helpline on 0800 169 9169 or visit www.nhs.uk slash go smoke free. Your computer is about to melt down. Go, go. to Play Radio, 6th of October, 2008. The business brain buster on Play T UK is the internet's best general knowledge quiz. Staff from offices around the country pit their wits in a head-to-head -head battle, hoping to be crowned business brain buster of the week. Register your business to take part. Email studio at playradiouk.com now. Then join Paul Anthony weekdays from midday UK time to hear it all live on air. The Business Brain Buster with Paul Anthony, only on Play 2 UK. Broadcasting live to the UK. News, information, entertainment and the best music from the past 40 years. This is Play 2 UK. It's not the Tommy Boyd Show with Matt and Stu, only on Play yeah, 2 yeah. UK. Yeah, yeah, beware. Yeah, beware. The contents yeah, of this yeah. show may affect. Yeah, yeah, beware, beware. Right, yeah. uh, caller, line one, good evening. Hello? Right. Okay, so, Weedle's wind-up time. All right. Do you, me, do you want me briefly give you a little background while you... Why don't you do that mm -hmm. while I do the dialing part of it, and then okay. we can go from there. All right, basically, this wind-up is, uh, it was brought to me by a good friend who will remain nameless unless they want to come out of the, uh, the kind of wind-up closet, as it were, um, to this person who was apparently also a wind-up merchant themselves. So, I was challenged to call them and, uh, try and wind them up. So I did. Um, then they got completely the wrong end of the stick and decided to blame somebody else for it. Now, with this being good, I thought, well, I'll phone them again and try it again. And it worked again. Then they passed it on to somebody else. And so, I've been winding them up, and somebody else has been getting the blame. And that is where Stuart should have made the phone call no. and should be ready. Because the phone's not working properly. Why is that? Because <coughs> I've, I've, no, I've got no dial tone. What? Can I cut us off? Would you like a mobile? Hang on. You... What's going on? I've got it on hold. Oh. <laughs> okay. Alright. Right. So we've got that, right? Alright, okay. Ready? Uh, do we have to do on nine out here? We don't, do we? Uh, yes. Oh, do we? Yes. Yeah. And then the number, yep. Yeah. Keep talking. Okay. So, <laughs> so yeah, so we're gonna get this person, uh, on air now, and, uh, we're just gonna play a little something for them. Just- The you have called is not correct. Uh, yeah, you <laughs> that does it to me every single time no, I use this phone. Oh, yeah. It's, your, it's right. your bloody sausage fingers. Right, nine. Be careful there. You don't, you don't want to give out. You don't want to give out too many numbers, did you? No, no, it didn't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hang on. Right, you you talk. I'll dial. You dial. <laughs> <Run him. clears throat> this is a good start, though, isn't it? Mm. Eh? I promise you, listeners, it's going to be funny. <laughs> I hope so. See, now you haven't got a phone. No, well, you, you chat, you chat. Yeah, alright, alright, alright. 
<laughs> so bears. Uh, if you want to watch the webcams tonight, by the way, we haven't plugged them very much. Uh, it's www.nttbs.com and click on the watch link for us. Uh, alternatively, if you can find out the links to all sorts of bits and pieces to listen to, play radio on there. Is it good? Are we good to go? There we go, we're good to go. Hello? Good evening, Polly. It's Stuart at Play Radio. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. How are you, Stuart? I'm not too bad, thanks, mate. Listen, um, I've just got something I need to play for you. Would you mind just hanging on and listening for a minute? Yes, no problem. All right, mate. Here goes. All right. Hang in there. It's coming. All right. Hello? Hello. Is that Paulie? Yeah, it's, it's Paulie here. What's up, mate? Did you get the car sorted? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the car's running smoothly now, boss. Nice one. We're going to need it for tomorrow night. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can have it for tomorrow night. No problem. Terrific. Did you get the shooters? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all taken care of. You don't need to worry about the shooters. Right. Here, before I go. Yeah? I got a dirty. <laughs> Line three, you're on the wireless. All right, is it? Is that Ian? Yes. All right, mate. Is is the car ready? The what? The car. Is it ready for next week? What do you, which, which car? The car. Is it ready? Are we on for next week or not, geezer? I don't know which car you're referring to. Just bring the shooters, yeah. The what? Bring the shooters. The shooters, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, what? you prank call me again, Ian, I will snap your todger off, okay? <laughs> okay, well, uh... Hi, sorry I can't take your call right now, but if you leave your name and message, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you. Hello there, Paulie. It's me. I believe you've got a wardrobe for sale. I'm very interested in it, and I'd like to purchase this wardrobe. I believe on the other side of this wardrobe you can reach Narnia. If you're interested, Paulie, give me a call. You've got my number. Ciao. Like seven, you're on the wireless. Yeah, all right, Ian, it's Paulie. Hello, Paulie. Yeah, wardrobe you inquiring about? Yes. It's been sold, but I've got a nice closet you can hide. <laughs> your sexuality in for sale if you want. How much is it going for, Paulie? It's going for 69 quid. I'll have it. Deliver it round the back, will ya? Back door. Look at that. What a strange... What a strange, strange phone call. Oh. Hello? Hello, is this Paulie? Yeah, this is Paulie. Hello, Paulie. What can I do for you, geezer? Or are you going to be busy tonight, Paulie? <laughs> have you, haven't you got any, are you any better time to do that? It's just that I'm going to be in your area tonight. You must be well bored, man. I want you to stand by your bedroom window for me and get undressed. <laughs> Come on, you dick. I'm watching football here. I want to see your man boobs. <laughs> <laughs> so if you haven't quite figured it, Paulie, it had nothing to do with Mr. Ian Lee. <laughs> and that will teach you, my friend, to put your phone number on your Facebook web page. Oh, so the, the Ofcom complaint it should be directed at you guys. Yes, yes. <laughs> that's exactly right, yes. <laughs> um, well, well, you'll be hearing from my solicitor next week, then. Paulie? Paulie? Yes? I've only got one thing to say to you, mate. Yeah. I've got that. a dirty... <laughs> Not the Tommy Boyd show. If we were a football player, we'd be Ian Wone. Brilliant, I love oh. it. I think we'd be Oliver and Jana. Who? Say Oliver and Jana. He plays for Wolverhampton, I think. And he's in my team. He scored me some points. Did he? How many? Oh, yeah. I don't know, I haven't looked. But I've been told by people who watch football. <laughs> 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 you went, why have you picked him? You can get you can get onto your Guardian uh, web web thing. Yeah, know, I know. I need to um, send. I need to send a thing going. I've forgotten my password, and send another one going. I've forgotten my username. And <laughs> <laughs> all that stuff. What? Well, it doesn't send me email updates. I see. 
for some reason, so I have no idea. You've said it all wrong. Yeah, must have. Must have. Okay, so that, yeah, uh, we were just chatting about fantasy football there. Mm. Just for a second. Good on you. So, uh, yeah, so that'll be, uh, that will be poorly, well and truly gotten, I think. Yeah. Do you think you might? Do you think you might have to phone Ian tonight now and, uh, and apologise? I yeah. think you might. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Poor Ian. He just, he didn't have a clue, did he? He <laughs> didn't have I, a I clue. Think he, I think he rebounded quite yeah, well yeah, the second I, time. Yeah, I thought it was quite yeah. good, but he yeah. didn't the have a clue. The first time was uh, what? <laughs> 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 Come on. Joe, Joe. Yeah. Joe, Wolverhampton aren't in the Premiership, dear. Oh, bugger. <laughs> why, why, is, just, why is he made available me. then for me to just, pick? Just thought I'd let you know. Thank you. I'll gun <laughs> him immediately. <laughs> Thanks, Gary. I'm going to kill is it so. What's that? It might, is it Wolverhampton? I don't Blaise know. Or? He's used to, but I think he might have moved. Anyway, if he's made available for me to choose, why would he not be in it? I don't know. It might be another Brummy side. That's a bit rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's not won me any points at all then. No wonder I'm losing. Right, I'm going to fix that. Fair enough. Okay. Cool. Oh, oh was, was, was yeah, this? no, no, you can't. Don't, don't mention it yet. It's no, not, it's no. not ready yet. In okay, fact, it's right. now gone a bit. It's gone a bit tits. Why? <laughs> 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 oh, it hasn't. It has. It stopped playing. Look. <coughs> oh, Stoke City. It's crashed. Stoke. It. He's playing it's, for Stoke. Are they in it? Uh, in the Premiership. Yes. Well, yes. there you go. He has yes. won me some points. They, they came up this season. He's in Stoke and City. They're not now. doing too bad, as it happens. Right. Good. Just a reposition. Topics we've got floating <laughs> around this evening. Um, what's the, la the last lie that you told? Also, any jingles that you could uh, throw up for uh, Alan Caddick's hospital radio gig? Any of your homemade jingles for him? Um, uh, when was the last time you got angry or, or what makes you angry so much that you want to punch somebody? Uh, such as wind ups. Uh, <laughs> or, or where would you like to emigrate to? Yes, indeed. That I do. That Sorry. will be it. No, go on. I do remember a lie that I did tell just mm -hmm. very recently. Mm -hmm. I had a party a few weeks ago. And, was, that, um, was that the other one? No, another oh, one. Right. Oh, right. Oh, mm. That was the French tart one. Oh, did it involve a bowl and some car keys? No. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> Have you ever been to a party with a bowl and car, with a car keys? We'll talk about that in a minute. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> go on. Um, well... I kind of didn't invite somebody. Right. Um, yeah, for a reason. And they found out that I had the party. Yeah. And weren't very happy with me that they weren't invited. Uh -huh. Um, so I said, I did invite you, didn't you get the invitation? <laughs> oh. Oops. That's a David. naughty one, that is. Line one, good evening. I've got an in people who I wanted to invite, but didn't. No. Right. <laughs> I, I, I understood. I don't know about you guys, but no. I understood nothing that you just said, Alan. Say again, mate. People who oh, I wanted to invite but never turned up. People who something get out of but never turned up. People who you wanted to invite and didn't turn up. That's right. Oh, right. Yeah, okay, go on. It was my ex's birthday party. Right. And, and I wanted, like, my best mate from when I was in school. I sent an invite to him. Yeah. Then I waited three weeks for an RSVP. That was before the party. Nothing. Can you imagine how pissed off I was? Yes, I can imagine that was very, yeah. very, very annoying, yes. I pissed off at Matt when he was sacking Hakey Caroline. Ah, uh, yes, <laughs> yes. Okay, thanks, Alan. Cheers, mate. Bye. Bye. Hello. Good job, Jack. Oh, it's Christopher. <laughs> Hello. Hey, I'm here. Hey, God, are we through? Hey, you, yes. You are. Is this, the, you are. Is this not the official Tommy Boyd uh, experience? This is the unofficial, not the, not the, not the, not the Tommy Boyd, not with Matt. Hey, God, he was... Don't tell me what you mean, mate. Well, I'm killing... Hey, God, is that you, Sue? It is, mate. How are you? Thanks very much. Can I speak to Joe Frisk from Canada? Yes. Hello. Canada. How are you? Oh, hang on, you shut up. You shut up. Lois, <laughs> 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 uh, he would like me to uh, pass on. How are you? You are all right? Great, thank you. How are you? Mate, I'm very well, you know, I'm best at talk of any kids that get any worse. <laughs> okay. Lois, well, what do you ask? Uh, I've been in the land of Canadians, the brave of the youth, uh, whatever they are. <laughs> Uh, did you find that everybody leaves their door open? Will you switch that yes, fucking Jack Brett off? He's got Jack Brett on there, these walkmen, and I can hear his sonny, my dear. <laughs> did, what did you notice they left their doors open, did you? Um, no, they didn't. 
Don't seemed you all quite... it for a bit of burglary <laughs> waiver. <laughs> well, you know, I had to look in a couple of houses, but there wasn't anything I wanted. Well, it's been their own fault if they leave the fucking door. Well, exactly, yeah. Just but... come in. Yeah. Well, you, you haven't got to, like, steal stuff for yourself. What you could have done is stole stuff and give it to the bees. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they could have. Two killings on firearms. Fucking insane. That noise is unofficial. Did you mean? All right, all right, hang on. I've got it all going off in my head and I'm trying to have a conversation. What's the noise? Killed. Jack Black. Right. Did you notice? Did anybody. Shut up! <laughs> Did you notice uh, when you were having a drink or anything in any of the bars, anybody m mentioned the fact that they don't have so many gun crimes as they do across the border, Joe? Oh, yes. I'm sure someone did yes, mention that. She did. Oh, Christ, she did. <laughs> she did. Uh, where was that, Ed? That was at the uh, Canyon's Edge bar uh, near a place called Golden. Uh, boy, Golden? Yeah. Well, well... No, but not Gordon Brown, nothing to do with Gold, Golden. <laughs> right then, well, I forgot what I was going to ask you about. Oh, no! Oh, 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 hang on, I'll ring you back. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Fair enough. I have to think very hard, you know, just like staring at the microphone, I'm just purely concentrating on what he's saying. I had heard the rumour that people in Canada leave the doors unlocked and some doors open. But the thing is, my sister is Scottish, so she le locks her door. <laughs> Bars on you know, windows. Bars on the window, the whole lot. <laughs> alarms and everything. You can't even go to the toilet without you setting off an alarm. Um, no, she but, uh, they had a locked door and I didn't go in anyone else's house. That was one of the things. It's not something I do. <laughs> <laughs> that was one of the things that made me want to emigrate there because the crime levels were so low. Well, while I was there, someone stole the digger that was supposed to be digging their garden. What? So, there is theft. It's just yeah. bizarre theft because they found it further down the road right, the right. next day. <laughs> it wasn't you, was it? On Probably the way back bears. From a... Oh, no, it might have been me. I, On the way know. back from a bar. Let's yeah. steal this digger. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look. Off we go. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> nice. What's, what's, what's this you've got, Stu? Uh, well, I was going to do a video, but I'm going to take a break because okay. I need to go to the loo. All oh, right. So there's a video coming up after the break. Uh, NTTBS.com. Click on the watch link, and we'll be back after this. Here at Play Radio UK, we're dedicated to providing you with a fully interactive website and music service. Choose from 11 stations playing all kinds of music 24 hours a day. While away the hours with loads of games in the playground. Interact with other users and find answers to all your technical problems in the forums. Find out who's on when, what we're up to and what we look like. Although some of us are more photogenic than others. PlayRadioUK.com. Internet radio. Your way. This is not the Tommy Boyd Show with Stu and Matt on Play2 UK. Beware, the contents of this show may offend. Stuart's just gone for a pee. He uses loo roll. What? Do you think he uses loo roll or does I'm he drip dry? What? A bit I, of a shake? He said he uses paper. Mm. Oh, yeah. Have we had this conversation before? <laughs> What's coming back? It's coming back. Why let's am I so let's pretend it? we didn't do anything. <laughs> That's better. Oh. I was in the realms of desperately needing porcelain. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's get the old camera on that there, like that. It's the Atlanta syndrome. Let's just do this on there on the telephone. Good evening. No, oh, totally chappers. <laughs> oh, totally chappers. Right, is that it? Thanks. Cheers, G. All right, let's awesome. see. There we go. We got that there. You see uh, that? And double click that there. Uh, there, it is. there you go. Yes, this is professional video and audio, this, isn't it? Right, uh, it's uh, 01243 556060 if you want to get through on the telephone tonight. Uh, where would you like to emigrate to? Who would you like? Oh, sorry, who's made you so mad or what has made you so mad that you wanted to go crazy? Um, what else have we got? Oh, what was, the what was the last lie you told as well? Yeah, that'd be good. Alan Caddick jingles. And Alan Caddick jingles. We haven't had many of them since the first hour, have we? No. Alan Caddick, radio, hospital radio pulse in Redditch, 13.50am, Fridays, 4 till 6. 
get that all into a jingle. You can do however you like. You don't have to play music. You just phone up and make some joke about it. I don't know. You know, something to do with the fact that Alan's in hospital. I don't know. Uh, we'll go from there. Right, this is a video kindly sent in by a contributor. <laughs> Chappers here. In this video, I'll be giving you an exclusive insight into my life at home. So come on in. <laughs> I really want to wear this purple top tonight, but I just don't know if it goes with these burgundy shoes. Mm. <laughs> of an evening, I like to unwind with my favourite tipple. Now, some of you may be disappointed to learn that it's not beer. I actually love some rosé. Mmm, lovely stuff. For the typical man, a central bedtime reading would be an autobiography of a celebrity. Something like... John Peel, Margrave <laughs> of the Marshes. But I actually prefer this lovely book called Love Spells for more fulfilling and intimate relationships. I can tell you it's going to certainly help me capture the man, uh, I mean woman of my dreams. When I'm feeling stressed, there's nothing I like better than to spark up and light an incense stick. <laughs> oh, it turns me on. Oh, Humphrey, why won't it ring? It's been over 20 minutes. Maybe he doesn't like me anymore. I mean, she doesn't like me anymore. In the home, everyone should have a pet. Now, everyone thinks that a dog is man's best friend, but I disagree. What you want to get is a cat. Like this one here. <laughs> They're such a great judge of character. <laughs> There's a growing trend towards male grooming products. I don't subscribe to that. When I want to moisturise my face, I go for a full traditional face mask <laughs> like this. Excellent for opening up the pores, leaving my skin feeling soft and smooth, like my own bottom. <laughs> Join me next time where I'll be cooking up something special in the kitchen. I'll show you how to clean your bits using a shower head, and I'll be giving you my top five tips on how to meet your perfect man, uh, I mean woman, via the internet. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you can't argue Great. with that, can you? That's home with the chappers. Yes. Um. That's very good. Hang on. Better put the mics back up properly. That yes, good, yes, that does help. Oh, you see, that, um, you, you know why that's been made. For those people that don't know, um... Chappers is really gay. <laughs> <laughs> No, there's always been a question hanging over Chappers, isn't there? There's always been, uh, is he gay? Isn't he? There's always been that sort of debate. A lot of people think he is, just because, um, I don't know, he moisturises, and uh, wears a little t-shirt saying, look, Miss Bad on it, and, um, fancy, the irony. and fancies men. Hmm? You know, people naturally assume he's gay. It's <laughs> wrong, isn't it? it? It's wrong of them to judge. Yeah. yeah. Do you moisturise, Alan? <laughs> Sorry? Do you moisturise? Fiona, does it look like I'm moisturised? <laughs> look at this face. Does it look like it's been moisturised? <laughs> he hasn't even got fairy, fairy uh, washing up liquid hands, look. Do you groom at all? Uh, shave occasionally and brush me teeth. And... I used to look after my hair a lot, but then uh, it deserted me. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> you know, there's sort of like an ongoing war there with my hair. But, um, but, but I, I used to, yes. yes. Right. So but... now I don't bother. Mm. <laughs> I just shave, make sure I smell nice, and that will do me. Because there is a growing number of men now oh, absolutely, grooming. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. I used to have a next door neighbour that um, actually had more grooming products than I did. Um, oh, I used to have. Which is quite scary. You'd go that to is. his bathroom when you're through watching a video or something, and it, you you know open open covers, have a look around, and <laughs> oh my God, there's everything. Most right, cuticle cream. What? Mm. My my cuticle cream. My, my cuticle cream. And he didn't have a girlfriend at the time. It was all his own stuff. My, one of my one of my old bosses when I used to work for a, a company many moons ago. He, his bathroom. He had a trolley 
and it was like a, it was almost like a hostess trolley, but it was full of cosmetics. And he, I mean, he was single, mm. but it was full of cosmetics and male grooming products. And I mean, it was a big trolley. It was you know probably the size half the size of this desk at least on two two levels, mm. full of it. Do Just, you moisturise? No, not at all. How, what would you consider <coughs> doing? Would you use fake tan? Oh God, no! No, no I'm, I'm not fussed about. No, me either. I could care less. Bit of deodorant yeah. that'll do nicely. Mm. Okay. I have I have used uh, peel off face packs. Just <laughs> just no, just peel because off. I think they're cool. You know, you wait. You put these. Th have you used them, Stu? <laughs> no. You put them on right. These face packs, and and you let them dry. Right? Now shut it. You let them dry, and and you can't move your face. <laughs> you can't. <laughs> you should see what he's mouthing to me here. And you can't move your. <laughs> Stop! You can't move your face, and then it's just cool to peel it off and try and get it all off in one go. Then you can hold it up to the light, and there's your face. It's amazing. Have you tried really those cool. um, things you put on your nose, the blackhead <laughs> removers? <laughs> They're great. Should I? Yeah, men don't use them very often. Are you saying so I they got get the, bigger, the biggest bits out. Which you saying I've got a lot of blackheads? I don't know, I'm not looking that You just said I should have walked. But if you them. haven't ever used one, you probably have enough to make an impressive array. I'm really glad you're back, Joe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all these insults. <laughs> Line one, good evening. I don't know if Leslie Gruford is still uh, listening, but I think I've taken back my crown. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Line two, good evening. Will I be allowed to come down to the studio next week? No. no. You have to talk to Matt. Matt told me to talk to you. No, Matt didn't tell you to talk to me. Matt's not been yeah, on... Yeah, he told me you gave me a Sky message saying speak to Stu. Did he? Matt's... Yeah, he did. Uh, well, well, he, Matt... all, all the way well, in Italy. Well, well, when he was in Italy... Matt's not, been on, Matt's not been on Skype all week. Well, he has. Has he? No, he hasn't. Did you go, so, so, let me just think, Alan, did the, did the conversation go something along the lines of, you asked him how F1 was? Yeah. Yeah, I did. Right, and he said... I would ask out courtesy. And he said to you, it's good, mate, unfortunately I won't be in tonight. And you said, so no show then. And he, and he I, said... I would ask him on the assumption. Just, just listen. Shh. And he said, yeah, I won't be there. And, and then he said, we're thinking about having a few listeners in the studio next week. Speak to Stu about it. If you can't get travel back, you can stay at mine. And you went, cool, Matt. And he said, okay, fella, must go. And you said, okay, Matt, didn't you? That was a, that was a message. Yeah, that yeah. was a conversation. Yeah, I know it was. Yeah, it was a wind-up, mate. <laughs> Can we, oh, name, really can we just stress for the record it had nothing to do with me? Yeah, just 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 it for the record. A, uh, unofficial. Yeah, window. just for the record it wasn't us. It's was nothing to do with this station. Yeah. Mm. Shall I uh hang on a minute. I can uh if I do that, I might mm. be able to find this out. Hang on a second, because I, I might have uh, his contact in here. Right. No. Hang on. Maybe Wait. it's under Alan Mobile. I was gonna call him back and tell him it wasn't us. There it is. But how do you do this again, Aaron? You're Mr. Mr. Telephone. Okay. Right. Mr. Telephone. Go on. Just dial the number. It's uh, oh, okay. If you're calling someone to leave a voicemail, press one. If you're calling to access your mail, press two. <laughs> <laughs> How bizarre! Oh, Hang on. <coughs> Who knows? I was going to call Alan back, but it's not. Uh, you're going to call Alan his mobile? Uh, yeah, I've got Alan's number. Yeah. Do you? Yeah, I've got his number, yeah. Should we call him? Yeah, go on. Hang on. It's just going to buzz slightly. Let's see if we can get him. Oh! Who's who's that vibrating? That'll be mine vibrating. That's my <laughs> Blackberry. <laughs> Good, this, isn't it? It's working well, Aaron. Hang on. I'm trying, but I'm now there at the moment. If you care to leave your name, your number, and your message after the tone, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Get ready, because here's the beep. When you finish recording, please hang up. Ah, you see, the beep wasn't going on. Play the jingle! There we go. Right, half an hour left to go. Should we do some Skype answer phone messages? I noticed there's loads and loads yeah. and loads Have of Skype answer phone messages. There's loads of them. There's never been looked at. Okay, go on then. Should we, uh, which one would you like to try? Would you like to hear from Paulie I've Got a Dirty? Yes, please. Alright, let's hear from Paulie he's, he's I've Got a Dirty. He's my favourite caller at the moment. I've got a dirty bum hole and it ain't getting much. 
clean air, <laughs> even though I wash it twice a day, the smell don't seem to go away, cause I've got a dirty bum hole. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. Uh, line one, hello. Hello, Alan Redding. Hello, Alan. You can tell me how old we are. Where are we? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you weren't can answering. I, can I come down to the show? You, can you come down to the show? Yeah, the week after next. Yeah, yeah. Matt will have you down next week. Uh, week is after that, next. Is that Christmas week? No, yeah, Christmas week, yeah. I'll come down at Christmas and give you all a nice present. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Bye, bye, the jingle. Bye, right, bye. <laughs> Who knows? Uh, let's try Gor Gordon Gorilla. Yeah, well, why One not? of my friends, shall we call them, uh, at primary school, used to go around swinging his, his lunchbox and attacking people. Oh, crikey. And one day, the lunchbox was taken away from him for that reason. <laughs> but the sly little man kept the flask. Well done, well done. And what genius. he went round swinging the flask at people. Yeah. And did far more damage. There you go. G man, I've got a dirty another one of these bomb hole. Do you think? Do you think the one that's ten minutes long from far to lot to UK is uh, is probably just ten minutes of silence? Try it. I, I got a horrible feeling it could be. Although if it's far yeah. to lot, surely there should be some wind on there. You would have thought so. What about what about this one from Monkey Boys? You ready? Mm -hmm. Another one of silence. Okay. Let's try this one. I know you're not a good guy. Nope, don't know that one. No, don't no. know that one. Uh, okay. This isn't going very well, this. I was kind of hoping <laughs> there were a bit... Uh... On TDS and that. Oh, it's no, 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 no. Oh. No. Oh. No, I'm busy one. It's not on Wolverine. We're offended. Oh, yeah, some of them are quite old by the looks of things. We haven't been, yeah. haven't been looked at in ages. Right, what are the fresh ones up there in blue? Unknown number. Morris <laughs> oh. Hello. I was, hello. I was, hello there. I was thinking if you had any information about having a holiday in the West Country. Oh, I'll cut them off. Oh, what a pisser. <laughs> 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 that was a good attempt at a like phony that. phone call that didn't really work very well. That I like that. That's good. <sighs> ah, dear, right. What have you, what have you got planned for this week, Joe? Oh, I've got a gig. Oh yeah. I've got a gig. Uh, plug it. Go on, plug it. Yes, it, at do? the Lamb in Yapton with David Francis from New York, um, who looks very like Gandalf. He's quite magisterial with a big shock of white hair. He's quite cool. Um, and we're going to be campaigning against the Ford Eco Town. Ooh. It's a protest gig. 30 years too late. Ooh. Possibly 38 years we're, too we're, late. I noticed, <laughs> I noticed we're having a, uh, something in the paper this week that there's an Eco Town going to be built near us as well. Yeah. Yeah, and they're all going It's probably the same bloody town. That's, that's <laughs> yeah. how big it is. It's going to cover the whole of South of England, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's been, uh, I don't know, I can't remember where it was now, but I did read mm. that it was going to be built round our way, and so there was a big protest about it. So. Well, we've, we've done some protesting. The thing is, if they just called it a town, we'd probably, you know, yeah, no one, right no one would enough. give a monkey to <laughs> no, no one would give a toss, would they? Uh, line one, hello. Will you shave my coin purse? Who? Uh, it was hey, Alan saying, will you shave my coin purse? <laughs> because I, Alan, as I have said before, take the time to learn the voices of all our regular contributors. Oh. Would you shave my coin purse? Oh, and the answer is no. Oh. Alan? Alan? I'm fainted. Alan? <laughs> Yeah. Can I can I let you know, of course, that the the wind up earlier was nothing to do with us. We just got sent an email from somebody that said they'd had a conversation with you on Skype and that you'd thought they were Matt, and uh, that was how it went down. Yeah, because I asked them where my mug was. Yeah, well, it had nothing to do. Could you play with your mug? Oh, oh, well, you know, it was nothing to do with us, mate. Oh, well, who it is? They'll die by my hand. Right. <laughs> you send the link in the Skype chat, and I'll. And I'll send them an abusive email. But we don't have a Skype chat. Oh, what? How come you're not on the Skype chat? Because we don't do Skype chat anymore. Oh, is it a change of policy? Like there was three weeks ago. 
This is old news now. Alan, Alan, uh, Alan, I'm not quite sure you've been in a time war. I mean, did the, you know, you know when the LHC fired up in the weekend, did you slip back a couple of weeks? I'm sure it was. I think so. Yeah? yeah did, did, did France disappear into a black hole at the same time? No, oh. it, was more, it was more like Peru. Peru slipped into a black hole? Why Peru? Because nobody's going to notice Peru missing, will they? Paddington Bear would. Yeah, Paddington would. They call the Peruvians money. Yeah, yeah. No, well, it's from Madagascar. What? Well, no Paddington from Madagascar. What about Madagascar? Who? What? Huh? Well, not Paddington from Madagascar. No, no. 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 Deepest, oh, darkest God. Peru. You don't know who Paddington Bear is, Alan? Oh, no, I'm just messing. All right, mate. Talk to you later. Ta-da. All right, line two, hello. Oh, good evening. Um, I'm interested in selling my Play Radio uh, mug to Alan Caddy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just want to know what his opening bid would be. Will you eBay it? It's quite possible I could, yes. Yes, and, and, uh, and I'm sure Alan would be willing to bid for a Play Radio mug maybe, I don't know, fourteen ninety nine plus shipping? 14? Fuck, well, that the shipping would be quite a lot more than that, then. Really? And how uh, much would you be looking to charge for shipping? Well, if I'm selling to Alan Caddick, probably £400. Right, OK. I'll let it's him know. It's got to make it to Birmingham, is not it? Yeah, so I understand. Yeah, right. It needs that extra I, security, doesn't it? I don't normally ship to the north. <laughs> uh, and, 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 unless it's, um, well, yes. Right. Um, OK. Indeed. Yes. Uh, thank, well, no, that, that's good. I'm talking now. Thank you. Oh, what? Uh, hey. Yes? Yes? What? Uh, what? No. No. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Phone, hello. My show has a Skype chat. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Yeah, but it only has ten listeners. Um, <laughs> we can be bitchy too. <laughs> meow. Oh, meow, meow. Uh, yes. Hmm. Can, we, can I can I just pr- uh, touch upon this topic of the uh, the Hadron Collider? Now the Hadron Ooh. Collider. We were going to finish the show with that tonight because we're quite hoping that it, you know, basically, you know, they fired it up last week, but then I discovered that. I read in the paper it was going to be like the oblivion's end when they fired it up. And yep. then I found out it was just a bloody test. They're not even doing the real experiments till later on in the year. See, so, well, yeah, what they were doing was these sending all these protons around this 17... It was a 17-mile... 20, 27. 27 27-mile ring? You see all these yeah. different reports, different things. Kilometres. And, uh, kilometres. Sorry, sorry. That's what I heard. Sorry, yeah, 27k, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <coughs> Alright. And they're firing it around to try and speed this thing up to the speed of light then they're going to collide all these particles, all right? So when they fired it off on Wednesday, was it? 10 o'clock UK time? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That was... No, 8.30. 8.30. 830. That wasn't the actual experiment, was it? No, it wasn't. No, because right. it's going to take them days to speed it up to the right it's speed. It's going to be a couple of months before they get anything, I, I think. I read it's going to be Christmas or something like that. I mean, yeah. it, could, it, could, uh, it could make for an interesting Christmas. Like, I mean, yeah, people were panicking, saying it's going to be the end of the... Well, it know. might still be, you don't yeah. know. <laughs> really? <laughs> Well, I think it's really happen. funny is they did the report and they, you know they switched the machine and went, "Is it working? Yeah, it is." And then like, a few people clapping, yeah. and I just turned over and went back to sleep. So I, was, <laughs> I was quite excited. I thought, "Oh, this is going to be great!" <laughs> Science just, and stuff. It was, it was just like, like like the Evening Standard on that night had mm. a whole a whole page dedicated to what London was doing at half past eight. No. no. Yeah, what? seriously, it had this great big long piece, and it was this long thing. Like, you know, eight twenty-five. Traffic was flowing normally over over Westminster Bridge. What? Eight uh, twenty-six. Two policemen glance up at the clock as if to say, "Ooh, it's nearly eight thirty. You, uh, you could do the same thing for somebody just turning the kettle on to boil yeah, some water for a brew. So it's, about, it's, nothing's going to happen. Talk about lazy journalism. I mean, you really must be stuck for something to to put <sighs> in the paper. They probably like thought that the end of the world was probably going to happen. Mm. Put a whole page up there, but it's the end and then has the nothing to fill it with. No one's going to read it. <laughs> yeah, that much is true. Yeah. This is your souvenir copy of the end of the world. <laughs> Keep it, be a collector's <laughs> item. Yeah. <laughs> Who do you sell it to? I think the research centre just um, sent the scandal out there that it was going to be the end of the world, just to publicity, media attention. Yeah. It would be quite cool though. If, there uh, is a minuscule chance, but it would be quite but cool if the if the if the black holes that they forecast like, do lead to being able to do things like time travel and this, that and the other. Yeah, that would be exactly. quite cool, wouldn't it? Mm. That, that was one of the last things that made me angry. So angry that I wanted to punch someone. I would have loved to have been there after they just turned it on. Yeah. Right, what's happening? Well, we're doing... Any black holes? Anything collapsing? No. 
<laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. It was just the way. I, I mean, it was all hyped up to be this big thing on Wednesday, and mm. then really, when you read about it, actually, it was just a damp script. They just turned the bloody thing on. It didn't do anything. No. Yeah. They fired a couple of rings around that way and a couple around that way, and went, yeah, they got all the way around. Woohoo! Well it, done. It works. Yeah, it works. Brilliant. All right. right. Now That's come back. Me. At, come back at Christmas. We'll do the rest <laughs> yeah. of it. You know? yeah. See you at Christmas. Yeah, I wish I could do that. Could you? Do you not think, like, you know, in your job, you like, uh, you know, maybe uh, you, you, you get to do a little bit of preparation work, like before this show, for instance. Mm -hmm. We do a little bit of preparation work, and then we don't actually have to do anything else for another three months. That'd be great, mm. wouldn't it? It's not quite that simple, though, because our little preparation work was 27 kilometres of tunnel, never mind everything else yeah. as well, yeah. and all the different experiments that are running at the same time that they have to continually do. So right. it's not but what I'm Why? saying is, like going and you know, turning they, the machine they, on and buggering you know, off to France for, <laughs> for the skiing place. <laughs> <Right. laughs> you know, but I mean, you know what I'm saying is, it, like, you know, they start it, they make a big deal of it, and then they just sort of switch it off again and go, oh, "We'll start again in a couple of weeks' time." Have you seen Lab Rats on telly? No. Oh, you've got to get to YouTube a couple of clips or something. Now that is funny. Did they you really watch? Machine did you watch Secret Diary months. of a Call cool Girl series no. two this week? No. Fact. The way you got us probably wouldn't. Did you watch Secret oh. Diary of a Call cool <laughs> Girl series two? <laughs> Well, uh, Fantastic. Was it Billy oh, Piper still in it? Yeah. Did Did you see anything? Uh, well, they're not hers, but you do. Apart from a big set of teeth. Chaz Babs is what apparently her name is on the internet. Her what? Chaz Babs. Chaz Babs. Yeah, because there's an alleged story that she was photographed letting somebody snort something particular off there. Really? Yeah. Is this in the show or is this like real? No, no, this is in real life. <laughs> this is something that was read allegedly. Allegedly, allegedly. On, allegedly on the internet, yeah. Allegedly. yeah. Thanks to that, Fiona. Yeah, yeah. Allegedly. Fiona <laughs> yeah. was sweating there. She was like, can't talk about that. <laughs> 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 the lawyer on the phone. Yeah. So, so, what do you mean they're not hers? Well, uh, she's a body double, isn't she? Or she got a bo body double. Really? Yeah. Well, that's crap. If you're going to sign up to make a program about a call girl, but you're not going to get your norks out. Yeah, but you uh, don't know that that was the reason. It might be that her norks aren't very good. She's pregnant. Might be squinting. Oh, that's she? true. Mm. Ah, yeah. That well, then that, that's matter. fantastic. The norks are just going to get bigger and bigger. <laughs> yeah, but it doesn't really work in the in a program about prostitutes when, the uh, end of the when she's pregnant. Uh, end of the series, they'll be in your face. <laughs> but then, but then, if she's pregnant, they'd be all veiny and milky. Yeah. Milky, milky. <laughs> line one. Hello. Oh, you were there. You're not now. Never mind. <laughs> so should, should I be catching this then? Yes. Alright. Yes. Am I, uh, by the way, uh, hang on a second, I might have missed an advert break. Have I? Yes. I don't know. I don't know. Have About we? About two minutes ago. Oh, fuck. Back off to this. <laughs> Websites don't always work to their full potential. In fact, they can seem like a mystic art. Wouldn't it be great if you had someone on hand to wave a magic wand that would optimize, improve, and increase traffic to your website? Fear no more. The Web Wizard is here dispensing web wisdom and free tips. Email your question to Jason Rodland, the Play 2 Web Wizard, wizard at playradiouk.com. Then listen at 2.30pm on the last Thursday of every month. The Web Wizard on Play 2 with Argo Internet Business Consultants. Growing your ideas. Click argo.uk.com. Play Radio UK have teamed up with Virgin Wines to offer you a massive 20% discount off your favourite wines. Visit playradiouk.com and click on the Virgin Wines 20% discount voucher to start saving now and have your favourite wines delivered to your door. Play Radio UK and Virgin Wines for people who love their wine and a great deal. Just log on to playradiouk.com and click on the Virgin Wine 20% discount voucher and start saving today. Missed anything? Hello, this is Chris Tarrant. Hello there, this is Sean Williamson. James Whale. If you speak to me like that again, I'll put you over my knee and spank you. Not the Tommy Boyd Show. Have you ever been contacted by the Biavians? No, I've um, had a few close brushes with your aims. Hello, this is Chris Tarrant. If you're hearing this now, you've missed me on Hertz's Half Hour. But don't worry, you can listen again at playradiouk.com slash podcast. Playradiouk.com slash podcast. Missed anything? Then go to playradiouk.com slash podcast. It's not the Tommy Boyd show with Matt and Stu, only on Play 2 UK. Beware, the contents of this show this may scary. offend. <coughs> I've never watched it, but I might have to if, if she's still looking like, I know she doesn't look like that anymore, but if she's still looking like that in the as she does in the paper. Well, she won't, because that's airbrushed for a start. See more sexy pics of Rachel at notw.co.uk. Fantastic. Mm. Do you know what? If Jim will fix it, Mm. Still has his programme on a Saturday afternoon. I know who I'll be writing for. I would write in, Dear Jim, 
can you please fix it for me to be on Strictly Come Dancing? Would you really? I'd love to do that. That'd be quite funny. That'd be quite cool. <laughs> I've never really wanted to be on any television, re reality TV. I did want to be on Big Brother once. Only after season one, not after it got rubbish. Do you class yeah. that as reality TV? Well, it's, it's classed on TV as reality TV, isn't it? Why, though? I don't know, it's just what yeah. they call it, isn't it? It's not real anymore, is it? No, not really, no. <laughs> line, line one, hello. Hello, good evening. Is that Play Radio UK? It is, yeah. Oh, good evening, this is Matthew Sanders here. I'm calling from Ofcom. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good, good I'm sorry to speak to you so late in the evening, yeah. but I must, mm -hmm. I'm just following up a complaint I have from a young gentleman who's very distraught at your actions. Right. His name is Paulie. I don't know the backstory, but basically, he's saying that you have been prank calling him and you have passed his number on to sex chat lines. Have, so we, have, we, have we? Yeah. <laughs> we, we might have done that, you know, yeah, yeah. Well, there is a fine in. There is a fine that you will have to pay. Is the, but, it, but, 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 I mean, I don't want to throw a spanner in your argument, because obviously being from Ofcom you would know. However, the, the fact that we actually don't broadcast on the traditional radio medium probably means that we're not covered by Ofcom, is that right? Yes, it, it also means you don't have very many listeners, but that's by the way. <laughs> could you, could you, you have been fined by Ofcom for £250,000. If you could make that check out to Mr. Paulie Walnuts and everything, everything will be okay. I, I'll, I'll, I'll get the management right on it on Monday morning, all right. Yeah, guess what, mate? I What's got it? a dirty bum on as well. How did I guess oh, it was you? Oh, good grief. Look at your face. Look at your face. You're messy. Look at your face. <laughs> you guys, mate, I tell you, you, you really got, you got to give it to it though, mate. I tell you, you thought it was Ian the entire time. Maybe. Yeah, <laughs> not maybe about it, mate. <laughs> it, it, it did, start, in my, de my defence, it did sound like him, didn't it? it the it first one, it, the yeah. first one did sound like Ian, yeah, it was quite funny, because I, 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 I listened to Ian and I knew he had absolutely no idea what the hell was going on when you were calling him, I was just chuckling away. <laughs> <laughs> Do you still want to see your man boobs, though, Stu? Well, it was Aaron that wanted to see your man boobs, and oh, I'm sure... Aaron. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you stick him on a picture, I'm sure he'll accept it. Aaron... I'll, I'll, I'll put that on an email for you, then. Yeah, that'd be good. All right, cheers. Cheers, Paulie. Bye, good Take good it good easy. Bye-bye. Uh, line two, hello. Oh, hello there. It's, uh, it's someone from the West Country. Oh, hello, someone from the West Country. Hello. I wasn't quite, quite expecting to do that, actually. Well, well you're not. You go. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I was going to do a bit of Jimmy Savile, but, uh, <laughs> it, it's kind of got a bit West Country Jimmy Savile. Is it West Country Jimmy <laughs> Savile? <laughs> okay. Dang jangle, jangle, jewelry, jewelry, um, <laughs> let's see if I can bring it back. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you're not recovering very well at this one, are you? mind. <laughs> Oh, I was going to pay Jimmy Savile for Fiona, but he's all gone. No! He's gone a bit, Pete. I thought it was there. No, then, no, then. Well, oh, well, well thank, yeah. you, thank you, mate. And uh, oh. we'll, we'll try it again in five minutes, all right? Yeah, okay. Go and compose yourself. Yeah. Bye. Yeah, Back in the zone. Line three, hello. Good evening. It's the uh, <laughs> John it's Peel. I just thought John. I'd uh, call up and say hello. Are you all right there? I'm Shoot. good, John. How are you, mate? No, I'm not too bad, actually. I just thought I'd call up. I, I was going to uh, send in the usual, uh, you know, the usual little uh, audio diary, but uh, I'm, uh, I'm out camping this week. Right. What are you, what are you camping? Uh, which, which... I'm, I'm, I'm camping uh, with, with John Kenny? Inman. And, uh... <laughs> oh, I thought it might be Kenny Everett, but John Inman, that'll do, yeah. John Inman, Kenny Everett and... Danny LaRue. I'm out <laughs> on uh, Hampstead Heath. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we're, uh, we're having a, a wonderful time, although uh, Kenny Everett forgot to bring his sleeping bag, so he's snuggling with me. Oh, I bet it's nice and cosy before you, isn't it, John? <laughs> it's not too bad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's all right, yes, you know, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's certainly nice and warm. Good. But then, but then it cools down, you know, and it's uh, it's just all sticky, and it's not as nice then. But uh, you know, <laughs> <laughs> but while it's warm, it's, it's <laughs> <laughs> that's a bit much, John. That's a bit much. How's your well, week? How's your week been, mate? It's not been too bad, actually. Uh, I, um, I, I noticed that uh, a certain uh, listener to this show has uh, bought a copy of my book. It's uh, it's very splendid. I, I don't know what it is. I seem to attract homosexuals. I don't know what it is. <laughs> but, but they seem to love me. I don't, I don't know what they <laughs> but uh, yes, it's it's all going well, you know. It's 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 not too bad, yeah. Good, good. That's good to hear. So uh, yeah. So any any celebrity parties you've been to this week, John? Well, no. Uh, uh, there was a couple of weeks back we uh, we had a, a welcoming committee for uh, you know uh, 
Isaac Hayes. Uh, <laughs> of course, <laughs> get, getting pestered by Kenny Everett, who's uh, chasing him around, saying that, uh, you know, I'll suck on your chocolate salty balls. Uh, you know, <laughs> after about two hours of hearing that, uh, Kenny, please, just leave it. You know, he's not interested. Uh, in the end, uh, I believe Rehypnol was used. I'm not too sure. <laughs> That's freely available, Rehypnol, up there, is it? Oh, yes, yes. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, oh, yes. Yes, it's, uh, it's in the, it's in the, you know, the, uh, the pharmacy that you can get up here, you know. Everything's just the same, except it's all free. Yeah, that's good. That's what I like to hear. John, uh, John, what was the last lie you ever told me? That before you the, died? The last lie that I told, well, before I died? Yeah. Um, don't worry about me, I'll be alright in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much for your call, mate. That's alright, do S- Speak to you soon, bye bye. Uh, line one, hello. Thanks, Thanks Alan. Thanks for keeping me to be on the radio. Your sign, Joe McCavity, A7. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to listen back to that. <laughs> I've got, I've got, I don't even know what he said. It was just said, dude, uh, I want to be on the radio, sign Joe McCafferty, age seven. Don't get turned, Mr. John. Right, should... let's just do that one. In fact, let's go. Size more, hello. Hello. Hello, mate. What's the, uh, what's the latest conspiracy this week, mate? <clears throat> the latest conspiracy this week is the same as it has been for the past 4,000 years, 10,000 years. Stock up on food. Right. Get plenty of water. Mm-hmm. Uh, preferably get uh, some f- so, uh, form of uh, water filters and uh, make sure that you can look after yourself and those closest to you. Right. Because big times are going to hit you very soon. In, in, in what respect? What's in all respects. Yeah, but what's going to hit us? Uh, hyperinflation. Right. Um, you're not you're not going to be able to pay to be able to travel to work because it's going to cost too much. So uh, business will close down. There will be thousands of payoffs weekly in in England over the next few months, maybe even years. Um, and I'm telling you this as. A friend of you, a fellow human being. Sizeborg, didn't you also predict um, that September, was it the 10th, that we needed to get all our money out of the banks? No, Matt, that was the 30th. The 30th. And it hasn't arrived. Yes, you know, I be, thought... Be careful. You know I'm taped. You know it's all documented. Do you have it somewhere? I know you have, Matt. Oh, yeah, yeah. Where you're listening. Are you in Italy now? Yeah, that's right. It'll be, on, it'll be online. Yeah forward slash podcast um, I, I could have sworn it was the 10th I do apologise do apologise no it was the 30th ok good I said um, you, you, if you look back you'll, you'll find that that was right ok we'll do I, I we'll do I, I do apologise uh, no well, problem well thank you very much thank you very much for your prophecies of doom size Morgan uh, and uh, we'll sure be emptying that bank account next week alright it's, it's not doom. It's 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 up to you to make the best of what you've got coming for you. Absolutely. Just look at the markets. Look at the housing markets. Look at the cash flow. Look at all those things, and, and make provision for yourselves. Right. The government's Good. going to do nothing for you. <clears throat> no. Well, we well okay. everybody knows that, That's don't not they? Surprise. Yeah. Yeah. Since when? Since when have they ever done anything? Here uh, they are possibly going to do for us. <laughs> A real okay, man makes his own luck. All right, mate. Take care. Have a good one. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> hey? Hey? What, Chris? Hey? What, Chris? Hey? 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 Chris? Chris? Who's that? Hello. Very quickly, mate. What's up? Very quickly, what? What? Get in the way it's coming. Chris, you're not quick about it. Let me over in no time, and we'll not have a chance to make plans. <laughs> 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 Very good. Uh, line two, last call of the evening. Hello. Does anyone else think that Sizemore sounds like that bloke that used to do the presenting on BBC One outside number ten? <laughs> John. Uh, oh, John. John um, what was his name? And they used to take him off on like Cole. Image and all was, it, of was it? Was it Cole? John. John. 
here at Westminster. Here outside Westminster. Take all I've your got money out of your arms. bank account yeah. right now. <laughs> Come <laughs> for the hills. The Germans are coming, or something. That's what Yeah, pretty much like that, yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Gary. Take it easy, uh, mate. Uh, it, 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 so, bye. Bye. Uh, right, so uh, that's just about it from us. It's been great seeing you all again. Thank you very much indeed. Mm. What's, what's this up on the screen now? What? No. Oh, I'm going to play that out, mate. Okay, cool. Yeah. Oh, sorry. That's all right, don't panic. Don't sorry. Panic. Yeah. You're okay. Have so you got a good week planned? Uh, I get to find out whether I'm losing my job tomorrow or not, so yeah, mm. maybe not. Oh, uh, maybe right. not. Yeah, yeah. Nice one. Could, could be a good day, it could be a bad day. Good luck. We shall see. Anybody who wants to employ me, by the way, I'm, I'm okay, reasonable right, rates. Yeah. I'll yeah. I can pay you a cake. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah pay me a cake, yeah. <laughs> a good yeah. cake. Yeah. yeah, that's all right, I can feed the baby on cake. Marvellous. <laughs> it's great, isn't it? It's a bonus. How about you, Fiona, all right? Got a good busy week? Um, fairly busy. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Right, I'm, I'm, I'm in here, back here tomorrow, with Mr. Mike Mendoza from eight till twelve. Cool. And yeah, I'm planning my next party, and I need to know if, where I can hire a bucking bronco. <laughs> I actually might be able what? to help you with that. Well, <laughs> really? There you go. Yes. Talk about talk about a show that matches the <laughs> well, meshes the minds together. It's brilliant. Uh, Stuart's looking for new employment. <laughs> yeah, mate. Yeah, I could uh, yeah. get down. Uh, <laughs> You'll not be back. Can you buck you bronco? Mm, yes, I'll buck. Uh, yeah. Well, uh, <laughs> <laughs> How about yourself, Joe? You got a uh, busy week this week? Got the gig preparation, oh, yes, bit of, of work, bit of renovations, Good. knocking down the kitchen wall. Good. Aaron? Not really. Not really, yeah, that's about right. Thank you very much for everybody that's contributed Good tonight. Nice. Matt Love will be back day. next week <coughs> for the uh, for the three hours. Yes. And uh, I shall see you sometime soon. We're going to play you out with uh, the Large Hadron Rap, because I like yes. that. Yes! <laughs> uh, take care, see you sometime soon. Ta-da! Ta-da! <laughs> Oh, yeah.